beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the Word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so on you and you here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son stay there. please be seated The Bible says the B part of 2 Chronicles 2020. In fact, let's look at John chapter 11 first. John 11 verse 40. I just want to challenge us in the area of believing. God wants to do a quick walk tonight. But I don't want us to just come and waste our time. John 11 and verse 40. And waste our time tonight and then not receive something you know i made a vow before god and every time i continue to vow it that i i keep saying lord anoint me to a point that nobody needs to encounter me two times to be changed just once it's okay that once once that if you ever travel from anywhere and come here tonight that even before the meeting you just begin to rejoice because you know that if it is God that brought you here, except even if it's a Habalist shrine, you won't come and go back the same. Are we together? I'm a student in the school of the anointing. I have been studying this all my life, but it's amazing, amazing the dimensions and the possibilities that are surrounded in this mystery called the anointing i repeat you are not a blessing if you are not anointed if you're a man of god here please find a way of crying to god that he should put something definite upon your head otherwise lock your church or lock any uh, out outlet or what because you are totally wasting god's people's time if you are not anointed it takes more than good intention to bless people there is something from the realm of the spirit that must come upon people that you are in this meeting now and you know not that after the grace you are just believing that oh, let's see what happens no you can know that this one i know that the anointing to solve my problem is this you can know you can know it's true a man doesn't have to tell you he's rich before you say he's rich as he's talking you look at him that's how it is with the anointing you can know you are in the place where the anointing to solve your problem is there and jesus said unto her say yet i not unto thee listen that if thou wouldest believe he says thou shouldest see the glory of god have i not said to you that if you believe you will see that if you believe you will see there is a relationship between your faith and your experience 
listen very carefully it's just an exhortation tonight that if you believe you will see that means whether you see the glory of God or not it is still there hmm. whether you receive the breakthrough or not the breakthrough is there whether it will be featured in your life is a different thing altogether are we together now whether you have a car or not there, there are still cars in, in a showroom now as we talk is that true whether you you have a house or not there are still houses empty and available so it's one thing for that reality to be available but it's another thing for that reality to become your experience are we together everything we so desire brothers and sisters is available in christ it's a reality in the realm of the spirit but there are systems in the kingdom that can capture that reality and make it your experience here and now that reality does not bless you for as long as it remains in the realm of the spirit your prayer and your desire is that the word becomes flesh so that it dwells among us then we can behold the glory for as long as it is still in the realm of the spirit it doesn't profit you what good is it if you keep having dreams and see yourself rising and then it never manifests open doors in the dreams close doors in your experience lifting in the spirit or whatever visions you're having but in the physical nothing seems to happen the bible says if thou wouldest believe you will think this is a very little expression if you will believe truly it says you will see my god that means i can stand here desiring a lot of things in my life and god is saying all those things that look far you can the word see here does not just mean view it uh -uh. it means capture it let it be your experience if you will believe believe and second chronicles chapter 20 and verse 20 guides us on the dimensions of believing second chronicles 2020 here's what he says Jehoshaphat stood and said hear me O Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem two believings here the first belief notice is a big B believe in the Lord your God that's the first dimension of your believing believe in the Lord your God to believe in the Lord does not just mean to agree that he's alive mm -mm. to believe in the lord your god number one means to be convinced and convicted about who god really is and what he's able to do you don't just sit down and casually believe believe is a product of of a contemplation that happens in your spirit by the way let me advise you for a very long time we preachers have been telling people that believing just happens in your spirit believing must happen in your spirit your mind and your body the entire tripartite nature of man is involved in believing i guarantee you believe alone with your spirit you will never get anything your mind needs to get to that state too your body needs to participate it's a well-meaning teaching but it's not a complete teaching you believe God, spirit, soul, and body because your entire tripartite nature has a role to play in the manifestation of the promises of God for you. Believe in the Lord your God. Notice, it didn't say believe in Jesus. In fact, it didn't say believe in God. Believe in the Lord. When the Bible uses the word Lord, it's a very interesting expression because the, the word Lord there means is, is from the word adon it means master it means owner it means manipulator are we together yes believe in the lord your god get to a point by the spirit where you are convinced that he's not scamming you get to a point where you are convinced it's a point of unbendable persuasion that you believe that if god says he's going to change my family truly he will it's amazing how many action movies we act in church you will think we really believe god 
but we don't some of you as you are seated right now if i ask you do you believe god can change your life you will say yes just because your head was nodding up and down doesn't mean you believe are we together now it's a revelation man of god do you believe in the anointing yes i believe but it's not true because it's not showing the bible says if you believe you will see that means if you are not seeing there is something wrong with that believing are you getting what i'm saying you have to find a way of believing this conviction conviction that the spirit brings that you have gotten to a point of unbendable persuasion that everything God has said concerning my life now regardless of whether that experience listen you don't believe it when it manifests it should be obvious when it manifests you believe it to make it happen not because it has happened it is your faith that will transport that reality from the realm of the spirit I sit down and just tell you oh someone is going to shout for instance under the anointing that's a stupid thing what if it doesn't happen so what is the what what gives that audacity is suicidal for a man of God your, your reputation and your ministry is at stake you don't get up and just start speaking and saying things and talking nonsense I hope you know if it doesn't happen people say you see this is how proud people end but there is a level of conviction conviction are we together now if i tell you sam to walk and come to me it is because you trust your legs are we together if i ask someone on a wheelchair to stand up and walk to me that person does not trust his legs yet because of the obvious situation so he won't stand up and he would try but if i ask you to come now you are not you don't have any experience with your legs that should disturb you you must get to that point of persuasion you see god is not a politician god was not voted into power it's not like there is somebody that supervises him in heaven he does not have a disciplinarian nobody rebukes him listen carefully we're talking about the god of the universe we're not talking about the god of christians we're talking about the god of all flesh god is not a christian he is the father of lights the owner it belongs to him god will not come on earth and go to the camp of christians the whole earth is his own whether you believe in him or not you face the consequence of fighting the creator but he's the god of all flesh has thou not heard has thou not seen the everlasting god the lord the creator of the ends of the earth he doesn't sleep he doesn't get tired doesn't get weary so when that god looks at you with the same power of creation and says i want to change your life then we now sit down and say oh god that's exactly what my director told me and god said you have brought me in the same category with your director who is only 45 years old you know how old i am go and find out if age gives ability god still qualifies to be god even if it's just by age let's assume that the older you are the more powerful you are god is still god by that reference believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god believe in the lord your god get to a point of persuasion and say lord based on my calculation it will take five years for my family to get this miracle but there's something i know about you that when you decide to rend the heavens and step over a man's situation one month becomes too much you see listen as you are hearing what i'm saying you are saying amen but something within me is saying you are not apostle don't make a fool out of yourself are we together now if a jimmy is a landlord of an estate and you are trusting god to save 30 million to buy a house and he looks at you and assuming you didn't know he was a landlord he just says kai i want to bless you 
and someone just whispers to you and says, that's the landlord. The awareness that is a landlord does something. You say, ah, sir, good afternoon. I, I'm not even, because you are aware. Something just opened you up to the potentials in him that he can compress a 10 years journey in a moment. This is the God I serve. The Bible says the word of God is quick. Shout quick. Not slow. It may look slow until God decides to shake himself and say, now let me lift Kenny. Now let me lift this. And you are surprised. Even you, the benefactor, there are sides to the equation of greatness no man can explain. It's a mystery. You just know I prayed. I did this from A to B to C. I don't know what happened there. I just know that a finger manipulated this. Are we together? Believe in the Lord. Many believers don't believe God. Many believers. It has to be in this order. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe what about him? Believe that he is God. You can believe he's a deity. That's not the information required for your greatness. You can believe that he's not a man. Satan too is not a man. Many other spirits too are not men. So there's nothing special about believing that he's not a man. You must believe that he's the mighty God. And you must believe in his ability. I, I don't know how to make you see this. Look, let me tell you, when you focus on God and who he is and his might, you will turn back and see the possibility of your situation shrinking before him. And then you will be brought to a point where you will agree, Lord, you can change my life, I believe. Lord, you can wipe my tears. There are many faithless people just because they are holding their Bibles and speaking what is written there. They think they believe. No! It's a conviction. Lord, I trust you. Lord, I believe you. That's why he left us the word of God to help us believe him. The word of God is a commitment from God to you. It's, it's, it's a manifesto. It's to give you room to vet him that means if you have any fears as to why you should not believe him he still leaves the word are we together believe in the lord your god by doing so you shall be established so he says be convinced and convicted about who god is and what he's able to do second timothy chapter 1 and verse 2 says but i know whom i have believed he says i am persuaded that he is able i am persuaded that he is able hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 says for without faith it is impossible to please god listen he says for he that cometh to god like you have come now it says you must come believing that he exists and then that he's a rewarder let me see how many of you came from far if you came from far let me see your hands how many of you honestly had quite a stressful journey coming now do you think please drop your hands thank you do you think that God will watch you live wherever you heard the, someone came from Ghana someone came from Maiduguri so within and outside this nation people coming there are many people connecting from around the world do you believe if you were God will you sit on your throne and watch someone almost have an accident and for 12 hours come and sit down some of you have been here probably since 12 in the afternoon or two or three and then as God you sit down and then say okay share the grace may God bless you I don't know the God you gave your life to but the one I gave my life to is a serious God it's a very serious God we are used to people playing games with our lives God is not just a trustworthy God he is too serious that he gave his son to die and then he will play games with your life no sir he's a rewarder he's a rewarder let me tell you something You've heard me say it. If you ever find yourself coming here to Koinonia, that you are right here safely, alone, is a sign that half of your challenges have gone. 
I'm now, I, you would think I'm saying it just because I'm the man of God here. You decide to come here and see the attacks that will arise. Money that you are saving will disappear all of a sudden. Oh, every to some of you, the morning to come, you are not even yet sure whether you will come. It's a spirit. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. Believe in the Lord your God. Sister, believe in the Lord your God. My brother, believe in the Lord your God. Concerning your admission, believe in the Lord your God. Concerning the baby, I know it's five years, but believe in the Lord your God. Believe. Concerning God, turning your life around. You need more than a job. You need breakthrough. You need favor. If you get a job of 50,000, you are still backward because you should have been working for the past 10 years. So now the issue is not just a job of 50 or 100,000. That God, can you shift my, what would have been the backlog of the past, shift my 10 years to enter my September and wait for me there. That I can enter September and I, I, it will look as if September is 10 years put together. One of the greatest ways breakthrough comes is the manipulation of time. Read your Bible and see what God did with time when it was time to visit people. He made the sun to stand still. He made the sun to go backward. Are we together? He did something to time. When you lose time, you have lost everything. Believe in the Lord your God. Number two. Please, let's go back to um, Second Chronicles. He said, believe in his prophets. Listen carefully. His prophets here doesn't just mean someone that prophesies. His prophets here doesn't even mean someone who is not fake. That means someone who is real. That's not what he's talking about. He said, believe his prophets. So shall ye prosper. To prosper means to do well. He says, believe his prophets. His prophets are not just people who prophesy. His prophets are not just real men of God. <clears throat> Listen carefully. This is where we miss it. You must learn this. His prophets here are not just men who are doing the biddings of God. It has nothing to do with maybe someone being real. His prophets here means the person sent to you. Listen, listen. The Bible, um, come Sam. Come darling. Look at this. I'm Elijah. And I'm going to the house of a widow of Zarephath. Are we together? Don't you think on my way going, I'm going to meet other people who have problems. So I meet a gentleman who has a problem and I just greet him. How are you? Where is the house of the widow of Zarephath? He's shaking me but doesn't receive anything because I'm not sent to him. I'm a prophet. I probably met other widows. Elijah probably met other widows lamenting and he said, Oh dear, you mean it? You mean this how your life is? Sorry, eh? And he kept going. The same way Jesus saw ten lepers. The same way Jesus would see people and touch one and stand up and go there is a man sent to you there is an anointing sent to you listen i know that many people will not like me for what i'm telling you not every anointing can bless you generally speaking by opening your heart i mean at the anointing a portion to change your destiny it's true hear what i'm telling you and then god will bless you There is an anointing, a portion. There is a grace designated. Let me tell you, happy are you the day you come into the environment where the anointing that was sent for you. Do you know, let me tell you this, and I tell you this honestly, my heart is passionate when it has to do with blessing people. But I have met people in my life that I just prayed for them just for praying's sake. But I knew in my spirit, I wasn't sent to them. 
of course you won't tell them so they don't feel bad but you know but i've seen others i could even wait for them to share their challenges because i know i know the anointing sends to you so believe his prophets are we together there were many widows in zarafath elijah was looking for just one Abba prophet what of other women <clears throat> i love them i can pray i can intercede may god bless you do a b and c but i'm looking for a woman of zarafath where is she finally you find her and it's clear she's not even ready for you she's doing something else the prophet would have been angry to say i spent time to come here you don't even know what you are missing i'm on my way going but because he was sent he had to stay his assignment was to change her life when you find the anointing and the prophet that god has sent over your life and your situation let me tell you you will watch that anointing rubbish your situation in the as if satan does not exist is it's not just this is where we have a little challenge with many believers who just say the most important thing is god yes you are right but you are wrong the most anointing is anointing what is there what is so special about this man of god this is what i'm teaching you now people are sent to people even the word of god is sent he sent his word like a messenger meaning until that word is sent you can stay there but when the word comes like a messenger angel gabriel left other believers around earth and was directed to one person daniel all that fight for 21 days in the heavenlies he would have been angry to say i'm going to someone else mm -mm. he said daniel i am come to give you understanding are you the only one i am come to give you understanding jesus is appearing by the road saul is on his way to damascus brothers and sisters the bible says there were other people with saul god would have been fair enough to at least give them something and then he isolates one person and discusses with the person the rest just fall down and don't even know what threw them down they just got up to clean themselves and say kai now well, what is all this one now whereas one person has that encounter sent 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 the word that changes my life sent i have had encounters with sent words and sent prophets and my god did my life change tonight let me tell you if you can believe this he said believe his prophets i know you are a businessman i know you are educated i know you are smart but there are many equations in this life that cannot be solved with pen and paper they are solved from the realm of the spirit it's only the result you receive here are we together now believe in his prophets so shall you prosper write this down please his prophet here is the vessel sent from him to you you must first acknowledge that this vessel is sent from god to you and one of the ways that you can help yourself to believe the prophet god has sent to you is investigate the dealings of god with that man don't just believe for nothing you have a right to investigate the dealings of god with that man what is so special about this man why should i believe him why should i take the word that he's bringing seriously every true prophet of god has a track record of his dealings with god investigate the dealings of god study the track records of his results i think it's unfair if you just yoke people to believe you just like that no give them room to study the track records of your result and find out whether the results are worth your believing how do you believe his prophets open up your spirit to receive both his grace and his instructions 
don't just receive the grace alone instructions many times believers miss it because we miss instructions very subtle instructions sometimes very ego stinging instructions like you were seated here now and then i just said everybody shout jesus you know i don't mean to embarrass your intelligence you don't sit on a seat and shout jesus you've been singing a song before you came here you there was jesus more than 10 times in that song you kept shouting jesus jesus lover of my soul and nothing happened and here you are sitting and a man is saying just shout jesus once if you don't have this revelation you can sit down and say please what is we are not children here what is all this nonsense he told naman go to jordan wash seven times naman said me jordan there are clean rivers somewhere and the small girl said you are the one in trouble if you don't go and wash you can go back with your leprosy Two scriptures and then we'll pray. Exodus chapter 14 and verse 31. And Israel saw the great work which the Lord did upon the Egyptians. It says, and the people feared the Lord and believed the Lord and also what his servant Moses God performs mighty things and creates that track record not just so that he alone will be believed God also wants the vessel he's using to be believed the Bible says they feared the Lord they believed the Lord and they believed his servant they believed the Lord and they believed his servant you believe the Lord you don't believe his servant you may not get any miracle exodus chapter 19 and verse 9 exodus chapter 19 and verse 9 and the lord said unto moses look up please lo i come unto thee in a thick cloud that the people may hear when i speak with thee and believe thee forever that means i can talk to you without the cloud but i keep that cloud as that evidence so that the people can trust that it is me you are talking to i'm i'm going that far because i don't just want the people to believe me alone i want them to believe you too because their receiving is dependent on their both they are believing me god and they are believing you his servant it says and the lord said i come in a thick cloud so sometimes when god does some of these signs and wonders is is not really just for him alone when god does some of these things oh there's a lady here and someone is shouting another you know what god is doing he's using those things it's, it's a similitude of the cloud to help you see you can call somebody and say who is grace or who is um victory and you can say this is just guessing I'm sure it's just guessing but how do you guess that someone in this direction do you guess that one God does some of these things sometimes purposely to just address the the leftover of unbelief because you see some of us are coming from different Christian experiences some of us have been our minds have been messed up by all kinds of theology all kinds of philosophies some of us have had bad experiences with all kinds of men of God prophets and whatever and chances are that when you come like this usually you will just add the man of God to the list of all the people and hope that he's just a better version of them and God says not so and he uses these signs to speak to you that you are in Mount Zion are we together it's amazing how a little miracle can just readjust your own belief immediately readjust your own belief while the devil is trying to lie to you can your life be changed all of a sudden the the power will touch the person near you this somebody you shook hands with turn to your neighbor and say this and that so you know that the person uh, the person can be acting It's a very difficult thing for believers to believe God. 
But I think it's even harder to believe a man of God. And people have all kinds of justifications as to why they shouldn't believe men of God. But regardless of what your justifications are, if you believe God and don't believe the vessel, you will be established but you will not prosper. Are we together? Your prosperity is what gives evidence to your establishment. You must believe. One word from God can turn your life around. One prophetic word can turn your life around. All these strange spirits that oppress people, they don't just go because they are told to go. No. It takes the anointing. I was talking with one of the protocol uh, people when we were, were coming down here and I told him, I was shaking my head and then I was talking to him and I said, I am amazed driving down to come for the miracle service now. I said, I am amazed at how people in Africa and Nigeria trivialize success. I am shocked at how people um, believe that success is about luck. It's amazing how people can see a huge sacrifice and trivialize it and just make it look like I think these people are just fortunate. Is that true? I, I, these were my contemplations while I was coming. Listen, there's no result that happens in this kingdom by mistake. No. Including the testimony you are about to have. That gentleman from Ghana, he did not just press this thing and found my name. No, 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 no. The anointing that is sent with that word works day or night. Are we together now? There are many testimonies just like his, that gentleman. You see that now? Someone will tell you I was sitting and I had a dream. How about those who buy new phones, brand new phones, brand new phones, and then they open it and see koinonia messages inside? How do you explain that? A new phone, not new, uh, what do they call that thing? Not new memory card. I'm not talking about new memory card. A new phone that you bought it, tear rubber, you are the one who opened it. Then the first thing you see inside is a message that answers your question. Who, who now, who, how do you explain that? Listen, listen. We live in a world that is not natural. It only manifests the spiritual naturally. The, 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 the earlier you got this, the better. My brothers and my sisters, hear me. All that you see in this world is only a reflection. Say reflection. The real control room in this our world is the realm of the spirit. Whoever can ascend this three-dimensional realm has the advantage of victory. Nothing happens that is physical. Are we together? One of the reasons why many of us are seated here tonight, among the many miracles we desire is finance. Oh, Nigerians, finance. You want to talk a good news to any honest Nigerian right now? In this day and age, as we transit into the ember month, no matter, speak about their spiritual life, yes. Speak about their love for God, passion, new depths, but please don't ignore that other one. Just even if it's in passing, just say something about it. Finance. Many people want to see financial breakthrough. Many people are working and they are trusting God for breakthrough. And remember, the strange thing about finance, do you know why, listen, I'm not talking about money, we're going to pray shortly. Do you know why many believers are poor? Because in the kingdom, finance is warfare. Money is not just an instrument to live well, it's a weapon. See, listen. Oh dear, what's it? Ecclesiastes 7. Let me just talk a little. You was, uh, I, I didn't plan to say this, but Ecclesiastes 7 verse 12. Let me show you something. May God give somebody deliverance right now. Read it, read it. One to read. For wisdom is a defense. Uh-huh. And money is a defense. Just stop there. So we know from the word that both wisdom and money is a defense. Now look up. When the Bible says you have a weapon, what is a weapon? Something you use to both defend yourself and you can use also for attack. Is that true? 
if you give me a weapon like a shield i use it for defense and the bible says one of the many weapons money is one of them and the bible says those weapons are not carnal the word not carnal means they are not man-made but my brother my sister this thing is man-made it was made by cbn that means this is not what god is talking about because this is man-made but the bible says this weapon that he calls money is not carnal he said it is mighty through god that means there is a spirit are you getting what i'm saying that means this thing is only the body the same way human being is called currency anything that moves is a living thing and that means there is a spirit inside the body to move it you are only seeing the body where is the spirit that moves it that's why it can enter a house you didn't ask it to go and it will go out by itself it can enter your account and still go out because it's warfare the bible says, believe is prophet there is something they can do that can do something to the many things including this this is what we chase all around because we think this is paper no this is not this is paper yes but there is a spirit behind it and this thing respects that spirit this is what you need to understand so the spirit can instruct it to leave you and it can leave no matter how hard working you are you can receive salary and all you have is part of this left and it can be instructed to leave you it will, you know it's going it's going out of your life it just touches your hand and disappears because the weapons prosperity is warfare it's not just about money to buy car and houses money is a defense it can defend the gospel it can defend a man and the bible says all those weapons they are not carnal so if you ever see this looking for anybody naira does not look for men something makes it come I, please are you getting what i'm saying if you can understand this alone at least even if you don't know how it comes you already know that it doesn't come by itself these are the mysteries that surround our kingdom you ever see anybody prosperous in the kingdom my brothers and my sisters listen to me this is a spiritual realm you don't have to be a christian to believe it you just have to be alive this is a spiritual realm animals know it plants know it's a spiritual realm that's why you throw a seed in the ground and you cover it you don't leave it open you cover it because what happens there is none of your business now you just cover it and watch it happen and it grows to become a tree that you cannot push down a little seed when you planted it it had no roots the bible says just like you do not know the way of the wind nor how a woman how a child is formed in the womb of her that is with child you know and all of that so also you don't know the way of god the lord brought you here tonight because there are spiritual possibilities listen that are beyond the realm of the eyes are we together most times we believe only what we can see and understand and explain unfortunately in this kingdom there are things that you may not be able to explain when people come here to testify you see me sit quietly and i watch and many times i'm in shock as i watch the immutability of god's power in the lives of people the same way you are going to come up here to testify yes it's true what suddenly happens to you and then you have someone just call you and say we're sending you to us to get a job 
Abba, my brothers and my sisters, I've told you again and again that everybody who helps you has relatives too who are in need. Whatever makes you to leave them and come to you is not normal. That you are sitting and someone says, I'm thinking of you. Who do you think you are? No. I want to help you. I want to bless you. You step into prepared blessings. Blessings that you are as sure. He said, Master, we have toiled all night. And Jesus looked at them. You know how to fish by waiting in the night and allowing the fish to come and rest on your net. Then you quickly pull it in the morning. That's how you were trained. But let me show you another technology. Cast your net to the right side. Master, but we only have left and right. <clears throat> this one is not brain work now. This one is not one plus one. I told you one plus one plus God is equal to whatever he says the answer should be. One plus one is two. But one plus one plus God is not equal to two. It's not even equal to 10,000. It's equal to any answer that God puts there. So one plus one can be equal infinity. God said so. Are we together now? I'm saying this to build your faith tonight so that you will believe that God is able to do anything at all when you look at the way you got to hear about this ministry and the various ways the Holy Spirit worked with you till you came today you should know already that there is a God in heaven are we together now brothers and sisters I present to you this same God who can change your life who will change your life I'm saying this so that you don't just sit down and be clapping for others wow this is how God has changed this lady's life wow we are soon going to pray you must have a desperation and say lord i didn't come tonight to clap for anybody i left my journey wherever lord i know that you will visit me and i hold on to the horns of the altar while you are sitting the devil is telling you remember tomorrow by 12 your rent or embarrassment say satan go away and before the presence of god tomorrow is too far god can how many minutes does it take to do a transfer I believe him yes I do I believe him I believe him I believe him I believe he can change my life in one minute I want you to just mention everything you are trusting God to do tonight go ahead Lord I believe you for this I believe you for that Those outside, whether you are standing by the wall, whether you are standing in any of the overflows, and those following online, release your faith. Don't be distracted. Any spirit that distracts you in this moment now is of the devil. It's a Luciferian spirit. Let your spirit and let your attention be open. Yes, Lord, I believe you. Mention it. Don't say it's too big. That's the devil. Too big compared to what? Pray, believers. Lord, I know you are able. You are able to take away this reproach from this family. Talk to Jesus. Even if you find yourself crying, just continue to speak. Lord, you are able. Change this situation. Turn my academics around. Lord, turn my finances around. Lord, I'm in a situation right now where only you, the God of heaven, can arise. Turn my ministry around. Lord, I'm confused. I don't even know where to go right now. I don't know whether to go to the left or to the right, but I receive grace. Pray. Are you praying? Kill unbelief as you are praying. Don't let the devil tell you you are wasting your time. God of heaven. Keep 
praise. It says, be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and by supplication, with thanksgiving, it says, make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Lord, I'm here tonight because I want you to turn the situation of my family around. Lord, there is a death sentence over my family and you have to arise for me tonight. Lord, there is a death sentence over my life. Lord, I've been delayed 10 years of my life. I am backward 10 years. There has to be a way you restore me, oh God. Lord, I'm trusting you for the fruit of the womb. The gentleman who came here, seven children lost, including twins. Lord, I'm trusting you to refire my spiritual life. Something has happened to the anointing upon my life. Something has happened to the glory upon my destiny. I'm here tonight, oh God, turn my life around. Turn my life around. Something has happened. The signs and wonders are no more like before. The revelation and the grace and the utterance is not like before. I'm here for a turnaround, oh God. My prayer life has died. I'm here for a reawakening. I no longer fast. I no longer pray. I don't know what has happened to me. I cry for help. Hallelujah. One more prayer point. Lord, I believe you and I believe your servant. I believe that anointing and I believe in its ability to turn my life around. Walk on any unbelief in my heart, oh God, and take it out tonight. Go ahead and pray. Every spirit of doubt, every spirit of fear, Isaiah 61 please participate in everything we are doing it's going to be a very fast one but let your spirit be open the spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord the same Lord that you are instructed to believe hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek he hath sent me to bind up the broken hearted now listen this is why he anointed me because there is an agenda but that that agenda cannot be achieved just by a well-meaning heart it takes more than sincerity to bind up a broken heart to proclaim liberty now i like this one to proclaim to declare that the time has come for you to walk free it says and the opening of prison my brothers and my sisters there can be men physically walking but they are in prison next verse Verse 2, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all those who mourn. It takes more than a handkerchief to comfort men. It takes the anointing. Verse 3, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. 
Now, this is the part I like. To give them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. Hallelujah. The garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called trees or oaks of righteousness. The planting of the Lord. That he might be glorified. So the end of it is for God to be glorified. But not in the current state. No. So anything in your family. Make sure you carry your family along in this miracle service. Don't just stand alone to receive. I've told you if you are blessed and your family members are not blessed, you are not free. You are not free at all. If you are the only one who is alive and everybody is just dying like a chicken, you are still not free. Are we together now? Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let me give us one last prayer point. Father, every desire I brought here tonight, I'm not walking back with it. Lift your voice and pray. Every. Let your faith rise as you pray. Every desire. Visit me, O oh God, completely. The God who touches my spiritual life can touch my finances too. The God who touches my body can touch my womb too. Lord, I insist. I insist for completeness. comes upon your life right now then the Lord okay I want to pray a prayer now please be your brother's keeper whether you are inside or outside is because of what will happen when I pray the anointing will come and people will act out what I'm saying physically that's why I'm saying you should you should just hold them are we together now the Lord is asking me to release speed. Listen, speed is a very powerful thing. When that anointing comes, you will start running like Elijah. That's why I'm saying, hold them. Right now, I stretch my hands inside, outside, online, and I declare, Spirit of the living God, there are men and women here who have been delayed, and speed must come upon them. Right now, I declare at the count of three, one, two, three, receive that grace. I command speed, speed right now, speed, let the hand of God come upon you. The Bible says the hand of the Lord 
was upon Elijah and he ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I command speed, receive it. It's coming on you now. Some of you is coming on you for the sake of your family. It's not just you alone. It's coming on you for the sake of your family. Let the chains be broken. I release speed. Speed. In one month. In one month. I'm prophesying that in one month, what has not been done in five years, in one month, receive that grace. I energize your spirit, man. Speed. When speed comes upon a family, you will see it in the result. When speed comes upon your spiritual life, when speed comes upon your academics, I'm praying again. The angels that ride upon the chariots are bringing you speed. I release that grace. Let that anointing come upon you. Speed. Speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speed. Shalakatosadakata. Now, now listen. Fire in the spirit has many significance. Fire, this fire is a mystery. It was a reality borrowed from the realm of the spirit that we use here. Fire does not run away from any element. Fire is the only thing that all other elements must fit. Whether you put metal, the metal will be hot. Wood will be burnt rubber will be melted there is nothing that stands fire other things can stand water but not fire are we together now he said he shall baptize you with the holy ghost and with fire when the holy spirit listen is moving to break chains he moves as fire do you know why because fire destroys every other thing Yet it is not destroyed. It is not solid. It is not liquid. Are we together? It looks like gas, but it's there. You are seeing it. You can't hold it. You can't cage fire. You can't lock it up. It's not restrained by anything. The Holy Ghost is going to move right now in this place as fire. Listen. This fire, I want you to bring those people out. This fire you see will bring an end now believe me when i tell you this will bring an end to many captivities many captivities at the count of three i just want you to shout with me that word fire that word fire and many of you will be surprised in the name of jesus where sam there's a song in my spirit when we sing that song what's the name of that song blow 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 like a mighty wind am i correct you know what i'm talking about so you sing that song by the time we pray in the name of Jesus I'm stretching my hands right now Spirit of the Lord you seek to reveal yourself as fire that consuming fire no power and no spirit even spirits can be burnt by fire in the name of Jesus I declare that any operation that is not of God at the count of three by the mystery of the Holy Ghost as fire let there be deliverance let there be refining let there be the breaking of chains are you ready now one two three bring them out fire the mystery of fire Over us with your wings. 
I declare any chain if there is anyone under the sound of my voice and any chain has held your destiny by the mystery of this fire I'm speaking by this apostolic and prophetic grace I decree and declare to the heavens at the count of three may that fire locate chains in this place now one two three chains be broken chains be broken Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Sing below, blow, blow, blow like the mighty. Spirit of victory, Spirit of victory, cover us with your wings. Cover us with your wings. Hallelujah, Madam. Please clear the way for me. These women, tap these women for me. One, two, and the other person, three. Please come. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. You are welcome. Your first time here? I came here last week. Okay, you were here last week and you too. Um, is, this the, is this the mama I asked to come? I think it's someone else I saw, but when well, you are here, we'll honor you. But I want to pray for you. Madam, look at me. I'm seeing witchcraft in your life and your family. Where are you coming from? Mama? Where are you coming from? You are coming from Abuja. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands, man. Look at me. I know you believe in the power of God. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end every oppression of darkness. Mama, I decree and declare, in one month, your life will turn around into surprise you. In one month. In the name of Jesus Christ, where is that man that came from my Duguri? The one who came to give you a testimony. Mama, let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is saying I should tell you that the oppression is over. Look, I'm seeing fire. It's leaving my hands and it's coming upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please, where is that man? We have to hurry up. There's, there's a lot to do. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, I decree and declare over your life. That fire. The Lord, it looks like you are an elderly woman, but the Lord is going to use you mightily. What you are receiving now is not just a miracle yet. You are receiving an impartation. You will begin to know the Holy Spirit in a very intimate way. Hold my hand. Spirit of the living God, you seek to use this dear mother. In the name of Jesus Christ, you will know the Holy Spirit in supernatural ways. His fire will come upon your life and he will use you in a very mighty way. In the name of Jesus, come. You are the man that came from Eduguri. What is this? Your CV. 
You are trusting God for a job. And who is this? Hold it. Do you believe that if I pray for you, you are returning with a job? You believe that? Hold my hands. In the name of Jesus, I release the anointing upon you and I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let there be that miracle. You go and return with your job, sir. Let me pray for you, man. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you and I declare that the oppression of darkness comes to an end. A complete end over your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. We are going to pray right now, but let me just... Um, the Lord is showing me all day. Sometimes this time, time, time just affects you. But I'm praying right now. And I'm seeing letters. And I'm seeing on the letter, congratulations. Listen. And I'm seeing that this is a symbolism of breakthrough. Listen, let me tell you. Except God is not God. If this anointing that I'm seeing touches you, then you and your family must stand here and testify. I'm stretching my hands right now. Lord, you are showing me this. In the name of Jesus, this is a symbol of breakthrough. I stretch my hands. Every family and every person that must receive of this grace, I'm stretching my hands now. You must testify. I release upon you that grace. You must testify. I declare whatever it will translate to, whether a job, whether increase, whether promotion, I command it, I declare it, I decree it. In the name of Jesus, I command it, I decree it, I declare it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hold the hands of this lady. This one. Hold the hands of this lady. In the name of Jesus Christ, I stretch my hands right now and I declare it's time for your family to rise. I'm speaking it by the spirit of prophecy and I decree and declare every embargo that holds onto that family, I command that it's gone now. In the name of Jesus, it is gone. I curse the power of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus Christ. Stretch your hands towards me. Your hand is a symbol of your productivity. And there are many of you, there is no grace on the works of your hands. I look and in the spirit, I don't see the blessing of the Lord working. That's what is responsible for hardship. It's not like you are not employed or you are not doing this, but in the name of Jesus, I stand representing the Spirit of God and I stretch my hands back to you. I'm declaring still that ministry of fire. Many of you will be surprised. Whatever it is you are involved in, God is about to bring grace upon it. I stretch my hands right now at the count of three. May the fire of God come through your hands into your life. Lord, I pray in the name of jesus whatever has not been working in your life i force it to work right now receive that anointing i force it to work now inside outside i force it to work now those following online i pray and i speak whatever it is that you are doing i declare the blessing i activate the blessing upon the work of your hand i take away hardship from your life in the name of jesus christ I take away hardship from your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Yabone nakawo Sujata ne nakawo Sirkin salama Sirkin aljana Yabone Cabo de Natal, 
The Lord is opening the eyes of people into where your blessing is. I'm seeing fire, still this fire thing coming on the eyes of people physically. You will feel fire burning and ideas. The Lord is birthing things. Is is a birthing in the spirit. I release that grace right now. In the name of Jesus, Lord, all those who must see, show them, oh God, where their blessings are stationed so that they stop dilly-dallying around life. I decree and declare, receive that grace, the grace of an open eye, the grace of an open vision. May the Lord show you where the resources of your destiny is. May the Lord show you where your helpers are. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. This, the prayer is for everybody, eh? But this particular prayer now is for ladies. The Lord is showing me destinies that must be changed outwardly. You are beautiful, you are good looking, you are virtuous, you are wonderful. But in the realm of the spirit, it's not what we are seeing physically that we are seeing in, this, in the realm of the spirit. A man with an ugly situation sat down at a gate called beautiful. The gate was beautiful but the man's life was nonsense. There are many people you can stand, I'm, I'm saying everybody, but this is ex specifically for our sisters. And it's not just the issue of marriage. I'm not talking about marriage alone. That there is a fragrance, a presence that can ooze from you and bring favor to your life. But many of you physically, they look at you and you look like you are beautiful, you are this, you are that. But in the realm of the spirit, there are powers sitting on people's destiny. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. I want to pray for you. That, that force, that veil must be torn. In the name of Jesus, ah, I'm seeing a strange grace that is coming on many people, especially our sisters. I declare any wrong identity that you are given in the realm of the spirit that is not a reflection of your true identity, any exchange that has been made in the realm of the spirit so that physically you should be blessed but in the realm of the spirit you are carrying another person's destiny right now by the fire of the holy ghost sisters may that anointing come upon you now may that grace come upon you now i declare anyone's destiny here that has been changed and switched and manipulated in the realm of the spirit so that what you look like is not a reflection of what your destiny is I change it now in the name of Jesus I change it now in the name of Jesus listen a man's destiny can be exchanged it's true have you not read in the Bible where kings slaughtered their children to prolong their own lives? A man's destiny can be a shadow of something else. You know you are alive, but this is not your life. You know that you are living another person's script. I'm saying it again. In the name that is above all names. Sir, come. I don't know you, but I want to pray for you, sir. God is going to turn your life around. And you see this prayer that I'm saying generally, this prayer, sir, is for you. You are a shadow of your life. Of your Is your dad? Where did he come from? From High Diary. From High Diary. From High Diary. Daddy, I'm going to pray for you. This is not just about your leg. 
Huh? This is about your destiny. I want to pray for you. Hold my hands up. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare. Entes kalabra hafas kata barakoto supriata kata mande kres koda hashabari katos kada natos kada natos kada mashada kata empre kete koto koto bat sada balakata shapres kete 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 balakata shapriata kata in the name of Jesus anyone who has exchanged your destiny sir I decree and declare restoration now. You are the daughter, hold my hands, I pray for you. Look at me. You are a wonderful lady, huh? But bad things continue to happen in your life. Huh? You are a nice lady. Are you married? I'm married with that one. Don't worry. I know why I'm saying. You get what I'm saying now? Yes, sir. Because what I'm seeing, this is a spirit. You are a nice lady, but people continue to misunderstand you. Yes, sir. Yes, Good sir. things and people look at you. In the eye of many people now, you are, you are a devil you are a terrible lady, yes, but it's sir. not true. Yes. You have a very beautiful heart. This is what happens when... Do you know that there are spirits that make sure you are misrepresented in the eyes of people? A ministry can be under this captivity. No matter... The Bible said, don't let your good be evil spoken of. You can be nice to somebody like it's happening to many of you. And people end up fighting you. You bought something for them. And they end up, you are saying, what is this? I pray for you and the person says, so you are trying to say I'm the one who is not spiritual. It's a spirit. My dear, I want to pray for you. Eh? This thing is not just about your marriage that is, you know, things have gone wrong. You are a wonderful lady. Eh? Favor will come close to you, but then never enter your life. Yes, sir. What yes, do you sir. do? I'm working in a security. You are a security? Yes, sir. Did you go to school? Yes, sir. I'm running my master. You are running your masters. Yes, sir. My dear, do you believe God can change your life yes, now? Yes, sir. I believe, sir. Hold my hands. To appoint unto them. You see that? To appoint. This one is a prophet's reward. It's not just that God is saying Buddhist. There is something in the spirit called a prophet's reward. The possibilities that accompany an office, I declare in the name of the God of heaven whom I represent, may your life change this night in a way that will surprise you. Listen, I lift you from this security work you are doing and I put you in a position that befits your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, Daddy sir, I'm praying for your daughter in your presence. This lady will come here. And give a testimony that even you as a father will say this one is the Lord's doing. Are we together now? I declare it, I decree it done right now. Hear me. I don't care whether you are working or not. If you are not in the rightful place as ordained by God. I want to pray a very serious prayer. Because there are people, the work you are doing is a nonsense work. That work is, it has robbed your spiritual life. It has destroyed your relationships. Because of that work, no man can see you to marry you. Demonic work that closes you everywhere. I decree and declare. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic grace. If you are in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny, I take you out of that place and I shift you to the place of destiny. I shift I shift you in the spirit. I shift you by prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, if the widow of Zarephath was not where the prophet met her, that's how her miracle would have gone. It matters that you are in the right place at the time God sends your miracle. Some of these things in the name of employment, they are traps of the devil. I'm not saying it's not good to work, don't get me wrong. But many of them are traps from the peace of hell. There are people whose spiritual lives have gone down from heaven to earth. Simply in the name of job. Are we together? Nonsense job. That on Sunday you're on your way going to church, your boss calls you and says you must come and resume. What shall it profit a man? If you gain the, what is it? Is that the whole world? How much is the salary? 
lose your soul for peanuts i declare again in the name of jesus may my god relocate someone here by the power of the holy spirit may my god relocate a destiny relocate a family if you are not in your assigned place i shift you tonight in the name of jesus christ do you know listen we're going to pray for the sick shortly there are people that if the devil wants to destroy them he will make sure they get visa ah pastor j it's good to see you there are people that the devil wants to destroy them they will get visa to uk they think it's breakthrough but they have gone away from their place of destiny god spoke to jonah go to nineveh jonah entered a boat on his way to Tarsus, and because of that wrong journey people lost their properties people lost he entered a boat and made people to start destroying their lives they were almost dying because a man was not in sync with seasons let me tell you this it matters that God meets you at the place where your blessing is waiting for you the devil can relocate people and, and destroy your life there are many Nigerians outside this country whose destiny is ordained by God to be in this country you see them roaming around like armed robbers around the world in the name of abroad and there are others whose destinies are abroad and the devil will make sure that he will peg them somewhere and Isaac sowed in that land it's not just that he sowed the place he sowed matters Isaac sowed in that land Abraham take now thy son and go go to a location that's where I will meet with you. God is everywhere. But destiny does not meet with men everywhere. You must have the discernment to understand your season of visitation. I repeat this. You see me speaking like this. I'm speaking by the spirit. There are some of you. It's an instruction from God to you. Don't be careless about your life. Look at how many Nigerians. You go to embassies and see nigerians they want to go abroad by fire by force ask them why they will say greener pastures i've told you greener pastures is not in any physical location on earth greener pastures is in the world when i sent thee lackest thou anything not when you went jesus instructed them and said do not go go only to the lost tribe of israel don't go outside that camp because salvation was for the Jews first. If they went to the Gentiles, they would have received a root shock. Direction. Direction. Please, in one minute before we pray for the sick, lift your voice and say, Lord, direct me. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. Direct me. There is a way that cement right unto a man, unto a woman, unto a family. Direction. Your blessing is not just generically in US or UK. There are people suffering in every nation. It takes the leadership of the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, two things we are going to do very quickly. And I know you have been doing this, but please, I want to plead with you to do it with understanding. Most times we do things in this kingdom without understanding. That's why we are not blessed. Are we together? We are going to pray for the sick now. Don't walk out here if you expect to walk back the same way. Come here convincingly knowing that God is going to touch you. And while we are doing that, um, your prayer, if you don't have your prayer request, please write it quickly. Write it quickly. And in case your faith, you came here with a faith that is weak, you didn't write some vital things, you can add it quickly. Those online, you can send, 
you can send your prayer request very quickly. Now, we are going to do this very fast because our time is gone. Thank God Pastor Jax is here. Are we together? Now, overflow. Listen, let's not be rowdy. Overflow one outside will walk to your projector stand. Overflow two, you also walk to your projector stand. Overflow three, walk to your projector stand. Those who are in here, you are trusting God to touch you, to touch your family members. You can make your way and come and stand orderly in front here now. Please, quickly, quickly. Let's do that very quickly. While we are doing that, please, if you have written your prayer request, I want you to wave it and ushers, you may find a way of splitting yourselves very quickly. Let's, let's have ushers. If the ushers are not in our PR department, you can join them and then let's make it very fast. Make sure everyone's request um, is obtained, please. For those online, I want you to believe by faith. If you are still here to write, just write it. Ushers, please. There are hands all around. Let's help out. Protocol can also help so that we'll make sure that everyone's request. If it's a text on your phone and you don't have the opportunity to write it down while I'm praying, you can just connect with it. It's not just a ritual. Believe in what we're doing. In the name of Jesus, we stand by this corporate grace and this corporate anointing. Pastor Jax Ejimi, there. Um, Pastor Alpha, Benga, Overflow, one. Pastor Femi, Promise, Overflow, two. Please, quickly, quickly. Let's go there and let's trust God to touch the people. God has anointed this ministry and he has given us the grace to be the extension of the hand of Jesus over your life. And I want you to agree. I want you to believe. The worship team will lead us in a moment of praise and worship while we pray. And please listen. Except the people are prophesying to you or they are talking to you, just a touch. I want you to believe by faith. Are we together? You don't have to start giving them an explanation. This is why I'm here. Don't worry. Just connect by faith. If there is a word for you, the word will be given to you. Otherwise, just believe by faith. Father, we thank you. You call this place Koinonia and this meeting a miracle service. Lord, we pray for those online and those within. We decree and declare. Let there be a free flow of the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the sick be healed. Let the oppressed be delivered. Lord, let this touch not just be the touch of men. Let it be the touch of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus, let every one of these people come and testify here. In the name of Jesus. Now, those of you who, when you submit your prayer request, don't just be staring. This is not a cinema. You should be praying. Are we together? Because shortly after this, I will pray on this and I will speak over our lives. Prophecy is very powerful. So whilst you are standing there, whether you are, you know, up here or down, you should be prayerful, spiritualize your mentality. Now is not the time to laugh around and be talking carelessly. Let your spirit be alive. Hallelujah. God bless you. Be healed right now in Jesus' name. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Be healed right now. You can look casually just hoping that the service will run and finish but again your heart can be opened i really believe i'm a firm believer that every experience if god is there something must happen to you i'm not necessarily talking about falling down and manifesting physically but you should live who will not want to attend a service where you are sure you will not be the same Nobody wants to attend the service and after the grace, there literally is nothing. You should know that you have been visited. 
his wisdom comes his power comes his authority comes faith is built your conviction is strengthened these are characteristics of the presence of god i believe that this is what the lord will do in the name of jesus christ amen where's binga please play play me um the strings the anointing is on him tonight you guys just follow him closely but um i just lay down to sleep a little and then i saw him playing the string so i knew that um just just play minor keys for me and let's trust god to do great things tonight lord we bless you one of the all over the world this is this is the period of easter and generally speaking once it is easter period across the christian community pastors usually narrow their teachings around redemption around the cross um, every man of god attempts to help the people or remind them once again of the significance of the cross the significance of the death of jesus his passion and everything revolving around it and um as i meditated upon the things that i'll be sharing tonight i i just felt very strongly stirred in my heart that the lord would want me to teach rather on um, issues that relate to taking advantage um, validating the death of jesus his resurrection using our lives you see as a leader i have had the privilege of blessing people teaching them truth and all of that my greatest joy is to see the word produced in your own life so i can imagine that the joy that is in the heart of the father is not just that we keep commemorating periods like this but that we walk in the experience of what that death was meant for are we together now when the father looks from the throne and sees people dying of lassa fever dying being buffeted by satan it doesn't matter what discussion about easter we make it's a mockery hallelujah the experience of the victory of christ is what gives um consolation to the heart of the father especially at periods like this so i just thought to share something with us tonight that i believe will bless us open your heart and um, let's see what the lord will guide us to understand first corinthians chapter 2 thank you jesus let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let the weight of your glory fall. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all the earth. Let it cover all. First Corinthians chapter 2 if we can read it it's a long reading but let's use amplified Paul began to teach something very powerful and I want us to look very closely verse 1 it says as for myself brethren when i came to you were using amplified i did not come proclaiming to you the testimony and evidence or mystery and secret of god 
concerning what he has done through Christ for the salvation of men in lofty words or human philosophy and wisdom there are 16 verses we are reading everything for I resolved to know nothing to be acquainted with nothing to make display of the knowledge of nothing you know among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified now Paul begins by saying look when I came my goal was to present to you Christ crucified and then to buttress on the significance of what that should mean to your life so he said I have many things what he's trying to say here is that look I'm a Pharisee I'm not dull there are many other things I can tell you but I have limited the scope of my communication to you to reveal Christ and him crucified I could tell you about all that things but when I came to you I have an option to teach you other things but for some reason my goal is to be able to present to you Christ crucified and then to be able to help you understand the full import the gravity of what his crucifixion can bring are you understanding what he's saying here now and so he's saying and I was you know fear trembling and so on and so forth verse 4 sorry amplified opens it up so i will jump some things now verse 4 says and my language and my message were not set forth in persuasive enticing and plausible words of wisdom but they were in the demonstration of the holy spirit and power now don't miss the context the context is christ crucified he says the theme of my communication is christ crucified so every other thing that follows from this explanation is predicated upon that foundation christ when i came to you my message started with christ crucified so every other thing that i'm going to reveal to you is connected to this foundation of christ crucified are we following now so that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men human philosophy but in the power of god verse 6 it says yet when we were among the full grown you know king james says that we speak this wisdom give us give us king james and then we'll run to amplify it to see verse 6 we'll, we'll just play around with it it says how be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect or mature now so Look at his progression the apostle starts by saying look ladies and gentlemen when i came to you i had an option to begin to teach you other things to teach you the 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 to display the fruits of my intelligence i'm a pharisee i'm a doctor of the law i'm a learned colleague but i chose to limit myself to present to you christ crucified and then he begins to say that i have done this because i don't want you to just brag about intelligence i want your life to be limited to this reality alongside the blessings that come from it are we together now then he is now switching and saying look that we speak wisdom so he has moved to the subject of wisdom now christ crucified and then wisdom yet not the wisdom of this world nor of the princes of this world that come to naught verse 7 it says but we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery now look very carefully don't assume you understand what he's saying we speak the wisdom of god but is communicated in a mystery christ crucified the foundation of my teaching when i came to you i came to teach you something about easter but i'm more concerned i have other options but i have noticed a lapse in your life and there is a dimension i want you to come into at is tied to the revelation of christ crucified alongside the benefits that comes from it and then he says that we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery then he says even the hidden wisdom let's see what amplified says about it seven amplified but rather what we are setting forth is the wisdom of god once hidden from the human understanding and now revealed to us by god it says that wisdom which god devised and decreed before the ages for our glory amplified says our glorification let's go back to king james 
so the bible says seven please and king james i'm, I'm explaining something just walk with me media verse 7 and king james but we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery listen carefully it says which god ordained for our what so christ crucified we see the cross there is a revelation from there and part of the benefits that come from there is an ability of the spirit to access what the bible calls the hidden wisdom and it says whoever hand can access this that god preserved it that it is this formula that will be responsible for the glorification of the saints that this hidden wisdom whatever it is has a part to play in our revealing the glory of god that god himself ordained it before the foundations of the world for our glory verse 8 which none of the princes of this world knew for had they known it now he connects it back again for had they known it they would not have crucified so if they did not crucify there would not be the issue of the cross and there will not be access to this hidden wisdom that has to do with our glorification verse 9 but as it is written i had not seen nor ear heard this is in context of that same wisdom are we together now when you're studying scripture make sure you keep following the line don't just speak a scripture and delve he's communicating something here i have not seen nor ear heard neither have entered into the heart of man the things which god had prepared for them that love him verse 10 now we see the holy spirit introduced into the equation the bible says but god had revealed them unto us by his spirit for the spirit searcheth all things yea the the bible calls the hidden wisdom of god the deep things of god not the things of god the deep things of god so he starts by saying i came to you and i present to you christ crucified that if you understand the mystery of christ crucified alongside the benefits one of the benefits if you are well taught one of the things you should be taught is that the implication of his crucifixion now has brought you to a realm where you can access what the bible calls the hidden wisdom of god so christ did not just die just to give us eternal life alone yes ultimately but that there are there are certain implications of his death and one of them tied to his crucifixion are we together now is the ability to access what the bible calls the hidden wisdom of god and the bible says that hidden wisdom was prepared by god himself that at a point in the church age man will buy a technology called a mystery remember he said we speak this wisdom the goal is for you to access it but between you and that wisdom is a mystery you must understand it is not the wisdom that is the mystery the mystery is the name of the technology that transfers that mystery that wisdom from god to you he said we speak it in a mystery i go to sabo in a vehicle the vehicle is not me the goal is to take me to sabo but the means of transportation is called a vehicle the means of accessing this wisdom the bible says is a mystery so we are going to find out what this mystery is tonight and the bible says whoever finds that mystery will access the wisdom of god and the result of that encounter is glory glory that the saints in light don't just become glorified just because they want to on account of the death of jesus christ there is something that his death granted unto us are we together now and the bible says that if you find out one of those things that the death of jesus christ provided for you the hidden wisdom of god that is accessed through a mystery i stop because remember paul is teaching here and then paul now begins to introduce the person of the holy spirit as the searcher of the wisdom of god but he said my my point now let's leave the holy spirit issue we're coming there what is the mystery 
that communicates this thing that the bible calls the deep things the deep things what are they because whoever can access these deep things the bible calls them the hidden wisdom that not even the men of the world nor the princes knew if if they had known that the goal of Jesus's death among other things was to grant us access to that mystery so that we will be glorified he said they would have made sure the Lord of glory did not die are we together Galatians chapter 3 we are coming back here Galatians chapter 3 please give us from verse 10 you will be so blessed tonight my prayer for you is that the things you are going to learn you will so understand them and they will produce strange victory in your life in the name of Jesus Christ for as many as are of the works of the law are under the cause, for it is written, Cost is everyone that continueth not in the things that are written in the book of the law. Read on. Next verse, please. But that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. 12. It says, And the law is not of faith, but that man, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. 13. Then he says, Christ hath redeemed us from the cause of the law. And he tells us how he did that. He says, being made a cause. For it is written, cause is everyone that hangs on a tree. We see the cross back again. Are we together now? Remember Paul said, Christ crucified. Christ crucified. That's his message. When I came to you, I looked at a lapse in your life. That the foundation to remedy that lapse is a revelation of Christ crucified and the full import of what the crucifixion does to you but I'm choosing an aspect of it that you can access the deep things of God on the strength of this revelation of Christ crucified and on the strength of those deep things you can manifest glory the Bible says that the blessing of Abraham I've taught you the blessing of Abraham is not cars, not money. The blessing of Abraham is not even what we call the blessing. The blessing of Abraham is what the Bible calls justification by faith. That's the blessing of Abraham. The Bible says Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. So we like faithful Abraham, we believe God and then we are justified by believing him. That the blessing of Abraham, justification by faith, might come upon the gentiles through jesus christ and notice this he says that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith so all of this journey is to make sure that even when we are justified that's not the end of it that we get to a point where we may receive the promise of the spirit there is something about a technology that transfers the spirit into a man and the bible says it was because christ became a curse on the cross are we together now and then we believe in that substitutionary sacrifice like we call it and the implication is that we are justified by faith what does that mean we are declared not guilty we are declared blameless having the righteousness of god the righteousness of god is his very nature are we together on account of that righteousness the Bible now declares that the Spirit of God can come upon us. We receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Then it stops there. Paul now is trying to explain to the people. When the Holy Spirit comes, what does he do? When the Holy Spirit comes, what is the implication? If there was no cross, there would not be death. If there was no death, there would not be burial there would not be resurrection there would not be exaltation justification and that meant that there would be no access to receive the life of god there would be no access to receive justification and ultimately we will not be able to access the person of the holy spirit the final journey was to make sure that every man 
can become a host of the spirit of god and the bible says if satan had known that that death was a string leading from one place they will make sure that the process did not even start are you getting what paul is teaching them now had they known that the whole goal was not to punish a man but to use a man like a scapegoat and transfer the spirit of god in man he said they would insist that jesus did not die are we together let's go back to our scripture first corinthians chapter 2 okay just leave us stand there but god had revealed them to us by his spirit are you seeing now so he has revealed them to us by his spirit we have accessed that spirit and so we have capacity to receive revelation from him and then he says something interesting he says for the spirit which spirit the same spirit we have received he's telling us certain things the spirit can do and one of it is that the spirit can search all things the deep things of god now we are investigating how to arrive there the bible tells us where the deep things are stored we're going to see it closely it says the deep things of god then he now digresses to explain something he said for what man knoweth the things of a man save the spirit of that man which is in him even so the things of god knoweth no man but the spirit are we together now so we know that the only person who can access whatever it is in god is the spirit of god you cannot receive anything from God without the Spirit helping you. Do we agree? Next verse. Now we have received. Say, I have received. It says, not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God. Why did we receive Him? It says that we may know. That we may, not just that we may feel spiritual that the spirit among other things is resident in us that we may know the things that are freely given did you hear the bible says god prepared certain things to be given to the saints for our glorification go back please to verse just go back to verse um, five now i believe from where we talk about the mystery it says okay verse 3 i think it's verse 3 um okay six 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 i think it should be six how be it thank you we speak the wisdom of god among them that are perfect the word perfect is matured yet not the wisdom of this world not the prince of this world that come to naught verse 7 but we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery so this wisdom is spoken but it is spoken in a mystery a mystery that god ordained are we together and the bible lets us know that by that mystery we can access everything that is given to us there is a spiritual system for accessing the deep things of god listen if you understand what i teach you tonight you will know from where strange and unusual songs come from if you understand what i teach you tonight you will know where strange ideas and supernatural solutions come from the bible tells you that in as a result of the death of christ that you can access the mind not just the mind of christ the mind of the father that resident there is the hidden wisdom called the deep things of god he says whoever can find it the holy spirit brings it to you but there is a mystery you must engage listen the holy spirit is many things one of what he is is a searcher but he does not just search until the mystery is engaged there is a mystery that you engage he no longer becomes a comforter he no longer becomes a he starts to search there is something that can be done on earth that switches the ministry of the spirit to go to the mind of the father and start searching the deep things and bring it to you and he says if you find it your life will spell glory paul is teaching them paul looked at their lives and said no 
everything I see happening to you should happens to human beings I don't see you accessing realities from another realm he said let me teach you something I I wanted to teach you a lot of things but I see there is no glory in your life let's start the lecture the foundation is Christ crucified that when Jesus Christ hung on that cross the implication of everything that happened at Calvary was to the end that we be justified comma to the end that we receive the spirit because no man knows what is in the heart of the man except that spirit so the father allowed his spirit who knows what is in his heart to be domiciled in every believer but the bible says that the spirit of god is many things he's a counselor he's an advocate but there is a mystery that can be engaged that will make the spirit to live whatever he's doing and start searching the mind of the father and bring to the saints something called the deep things he said the hidden wisdom and says god prepared it for my glorification many people have taught that this mystery is just to blast in tongues and once you blast in tongues the holy spirit starts searching how many times have you prayed in tongues in your life and you have seen that you prayed and prayed and prayed and nothing happened but we speak this mystery when we come to those who are matured and we speak the wisdom of god in a mystery do you know what paul is saying he's saying i am when i come to mature believers i know that i cannot teach them peripheral things i have to teach them the deep things of god but when i come to them i engage this mystery and the spirit of god starts to download deep things and it is those deep things i give them when i come to those who are matured he says we speak this miss this wisdom to them but in a mystery a mystery that only the holy ghost can deliver unto men listen i show you a secret tonight that is the secret of depth eternally there's no such thing as being bankrupt you will find this you apply this in your life in your business you will come up with things that will shock men everybody will know that this one this one cannot be from the earth realm it's not the wisdom of men so you can't learn it in school it's not the wisdom of the princes of this world so no elder can advise you into it this one is only available it was taught in the mind of God himself and only the spirit can access the mind of Christ but your own assignment is to find out what the mystery is the Bible says anytime that mystery is engaged the Holy Ghost starts to search There is a spiritual system for accessing deep hidden revelations. There is a spiritual system for accessing strategies. There are people on earth who have found this secret and their life becomes an unending wonder. It looks like there is a fountain within them. They have learned how to tap into an ability that is higher and greater than their age, their level, their education, their everything. This is what I want to teach you. If you have this, I can tell you happy Easter. If you don't have this, we can rejoice for nothing and eat and go back and there is no glory in our lives. There is a relationship between the sufferings of Christ and the glory that follows. The sufferings of Christ and the glory that follows. The sufferings of Christ culminated in his crucifixion. It didn't start in his crucifixion. The sufferings of Christ started right from his passion at Gethsemane. I hope you know that at Gethsemane, that's where Christ became the second Adam. Because two things happened to Adam in the Garden of Eden. First, Adam lost what we call righteousness, right? The nature of God, he lost it. He still had the likeness of God, but he lost the image. The Holy Spirit, he lost. So, if Christ were to be the second Adam, he would have to lose those two things too. Are we together now? yes and the only condition for christ to lose righteousness is to become sin and he became sin through what we call in theology the doctrine of interpenetration that's what the communion is the mystery that two people become one 
Ejimi and his wife now, as far as God is concerned, are one. She has her own body, he has his body, but in the realm of the spirit, they are one. Whatever accesses him can access her without permission. If he agrees, she will pay for it because they have become one. Are we, are we together now? And the Bible says that when that communion was broken, remember, I think I've taught this many times in this place, that the reason why there were 12 men, you see, do you know why it was only men in, 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 um, in, in the upper room? That's where they had the communion. They were men because men are the carriers of the seeds. And sin is transferred through reproduction. Are we together now? Women don't carry the seeds. Women only receive the seed and give birth to another life. So the men there were standing, 12 of them in number. 12 is the number of government. So they were there. It was the whole world prophetically entering into that covenant where man can now christ can now take up the nature of man that's why he said if you eat my flesh and drink my blood you have your life so he broke himself and said eat and it gave access for him to carry the whole nature of man watch this then he went to gethsemane and he began to cry he said father if it be thy will let this cup pass what cup the cup was not death the cup was the holy spirit leaving him because the moment the holy spirit leaves him he cannot be in touch with heaven again <laughs> remember the connect of the mind remember it is the spirit when he said eloi eloi lamak sabachthani did the father reply because that which is flesh is flesh that which is spirit is spirit the holy spirit was not with jesus on the cross if he was with jesus the nails would not enter his hands he had to leave jesus that was where the cry was happening for the first time the trinity will be separated and he said can this cup this cup of disunion can it pass off me he said but it has to happen nevertheless not my will but yours be done that was the reason why when they held him from that time everything that happened to him was happening to adam and whoever came from adam you see that now then when he was hung on that cross the bible tells us that you know the nails and everything and he stood there and listen to what he said he said father into thy hands i commend my spirit jesus now went to hell i hope you know that jesus went to hell to fight satan not with the assistance of the holy spirit he went as man adam to hell the holy ghost was not there no it was not there at all you see that if the holy ghost was there jesus would not be able to go where he's going are we together now and he stood there defeated satan collected the keys and then on the third day that same spirit that had left him now came back if that same spirit that raised christ from the dead the bible says if that same spirit dwells now today in your mortal body it would do certain things i'm just giving us a little you know just play with our minds a little let's go back to what we're discussing he said that there is a mystery that activates the holy spirit searching the deep things of god and revealing it to us and it says tied to it is our glorification among the many things listen carefully among the many things that this mystery can bring is to transport the superior wisdom of god and to reveal them to man through the spirit that part of the blessings of the crucifixion of christ and the import of redemption is the ability to engage a mystery that causes the holy spirit to search the deep things of god and reveals to man the mystery that controls creativity the mystery that controls innovation the mystery that controls divine strategy the mystery that controls supernatural solutions the mystery that can stir up every dormant gifting and ability in man the hidden mystery let's discuss the technology of activating this mystery jesus
Number one, write this down. The first thing I want you to note is that the mind of God is a compendium of infinite wisdom. Write it down. The mind of God. God has a mind. The Bible says that the spirit can search everything in the mind of God, even the deep things. So write it down. That God's mind, God himself, his mind is full of infinite wisdom. Number two, whatever this mystery is, we know that it is engaged by speaking. Write it down. We're establishing something now. Please just help those under the anointing. Let's be sensitive. I believe that God will be giving a lot of impartations. The mystery is engaged by speaking. So we know that for the activation of this mystery, your mouth has a role to play. Now listen very carefully. Number three, you see, this thing we call speaking in tongues, look at me everybody, look at me, we have missed a lot in it. Those who taught us speaking in tongues, taught us that every time you open your mouth, you are doing the same thing. Speaking in tongues has dimensions and all those dimensions have allocations in the spirit for what they achieve just because it looks like you are doing the same thing so you think every time you are speaking in tongues this mystery is activated by speaking there is the speaking in tongues that is for intercession there is the speaking in tongues that is engaging the mystery that makes the spirit of god to start searching the deep things of god it's not just that because you open your mouth you are praying i'm going to guide you you will understand what i'm saying shortly it is the mystery of speaking in an unknown tongue listen but the goal is not intercession nor supplication the goal is a system of reception that speaking in tongues is not only an instrument for intercession there is a dimension of tongues that you speak to receive you receive things in the spirit by engaging that mystery not just interceding for sinners not just praying there is a dimension of the hidden wisdom of god that every time you begin to utter tongues with that revelation and with that consciousness the holy spirit does not just come as an intercessor it's a message you are sending to the spirit that i am in need of a mystery and the holy spirit says i get the message you are saying there is a way you can pray that he knows i'm interceding for a sinner he joins you there is a way you can pray but that there is a tongue you can utter from the earth that is a message to the holy ghost i am stranded i need something for my glory and he goes and starts to search most of us think every time we pray in tongues because it sounds the same you think you are saying the same thing those who have taught praying in tongues have only taught it with respect to accessing spiritual power like okay power if you want power just pray in tongues or if you want to feel like you're a prayer warrior there are all kinds of dimensions the same electricity powers a keyboard the same electricity powers fan the same electricity but there is a way you can channel it there is a dimension of tongues that is not for intercession it is a dimension the moment you utter it the spirit of god goes to the mind of the father that the end of that tongues is a revelation of something you did not know before you started praying that tongues cannot stop with you say amen and you go back no way no way Mm -mm. you don't just pray and finish the one you are praying when you pray just say thank you jesus lord i give you all the glory because you were interceding and you were building up your spirit man but that when you engage these tongues something must leave god and manifest physically you can hold it and say this is the answer i give you thanks then the secret was revealed to daniel a king came and said tell me my dream and the interpretation otherwise i would destroy you daniel showed us i don't know what daniel did in the night he said king there is no man that can know this thing no he said but wait before you kill us give me time in the night when others will help that lady please 
in the night when all, I don't know what Daniel did but all I know is that Daniel tapped into a frequency in the spirit and Daniel received this let me tell you this listen very carefully I know this because there was a prayer Daniel was praying that made Gabriel to come to earth not to fight but to bring a message it's in your Bible he was praying a prayer many people say that no it was not a it was not just a prayer of warfare a Gabriel said I am sent something about your prayer called heaven I am come with the answer understanding and the Bible says this mystery God ordained it for our glory Daniel was an ordinary man these saints in the Bible were ordinary people it is these mysteries that turn them to become like gods upon the earth what kind of men are these they want to kill somebody and a human being with flesh and blood says give me time he goes to the secret place and says king i have your answer and the king looked at him the dreamer forgot his dream the dreamer forgot his dream and someone went to bed and all of a sudden came back this one is not word of knowledge oh this is a download of a strategy word of knowledge gives you in part this one comes to give you an information imagine what that would do to your life imagine that you can tap let me tell you listen without this strategy you will never move forward in life you will get to points where you will stay grounded nothing on earth has the capacity to move you and the spirit of god just stands and, oh i'm born again ba, 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 ba. you can pray for three hours and intercede for everybody and the holy ghost will say if you know this is what apostle paul that guy was a dangerous guy that paul you see paul came and saw the believers and knew what was wrong he knew what was wrong with their spiritual life you guys are zealous you guys pray all the time but there's something you don't have let me teach you remember they were filled with the holy ghost already what he did in chapter 12 14 was to explain to them but paul saw that they were not maximizing certain things he said let me teach you you see all these mysteries i share let me show you how they come this is paul teaching now paul says i am ordinary some of the apostles knew jesus before me but i was taught this mystery and every time i engage it it was while paul was doing this that the holy ghost brought him a mystery he said church let me arrange the gifts of the spirit now in a way that will profit the body that's not normal you don't do that by education let me tell you there are things god has brought to me by this truth you see ba, when the truth of scripture comes to you from heaven you may not be able to share everything but there are truths some of this system of operating in the anointing this is how they came a visitation son this is how this thing works if you understand what i'm saying brothers and sisters the next time you go to pray many of you will have some of you have done it unconsciously that's why you see people come to testify i went to bed and i had a visitation no nobody just comes they are called they may use the face of a man they may god had mercy on you you just knew you were praying something about your prayer called heaven listen read your bible and see men who called heaven some did not get an answer some got an answer the bible calls it a mystery how could god leave men on earth without an assistance do you think god knows god does not know that you need to prosper do you think god does not know imagine the sicknesses in this world do you not know that even the anointing most of us are stranded we don't even know how to use it effectively it is the holy ghost that comes look at jesus jesus saw a man and knew that the only thing that will heal this man is to spit on the ground he never repeated it again a mystery that came look at how 
Joshua it was divine strategies that gave people victory in the Bible none of those strategies were repeated again they happened just once they, they, how can a man look and say I will go over a, a Jericho seven times knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish their dominion upon the earth knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and can look at that gentleman who gave a testimony he had it's a it's a true testimony i got i got it too he broke his I, I i don't know whether he broke his teeth or i think they were supposed to remove four of his teeth or something an accident and then something else happened to him and the gentle i don't know what he did though but the gentleman said he went to bed and all of a sudden a revelation comes and he gets up and he's gone nothing just happens like that it's not true there is a dimension of god's glory that will never manifest in our lives for as long as all you think will bring you glory and greatness in life is just certificate or wisdom from age or just searching google how to be rich enter how to do business enter how to be a good wife enter for as long as that's what you are doing that's sophia the wisdom of men there is a superior dimension most of us know it but you think it just comes just by looking at the bible alone no there is a dimension where you can call for the assistance of heaven there are certain things let me tell you god taught me about the anointing he taught me not by saying he taught me by imparting that knowledge i can't teach it because it was not through words it's, it's a lecture but it came like a software see what makes men unusual is the mysteries that upgrade their lives not their skin not their body when you see an ordinary person and you see a dimension of result that is not human go back and ask either a witch or a wizard appear to that person or something must have happened in the realm of the spirit hmm. are we together that you can go back and look at your family and they can say what is special about the easter and he said lord there has to be an answer to what is happening in this family are you not seeing the way our families are how many of you have seen that the solution cannot come from it the deep things of god there are pastors stranded in ministry look at the foolish instructions people do to rise in life it does not sound human but because it came from the mind of god it produces strange results go around the city seven times because it came to a man he went round and the city collapsed are we blessed i'm sharing with you a reality that i've worked in myself stupid things but came i know how to call for help from heaven if you don't know in this wicked world the devil will eat you up and spit out your bones it's not every tongue that is just for building up your spirit there is a dimension of praying in tongues that is a cry of mercy in the realm of the spirit i need assistance oh god i am stranded except you help from heaven i cannot do anything and all of a sudden an emissary is sent from the realm of the spirit and comes to deliver as desired paul said the hidden wisdom that god ordained for our glory Are you getting blessed now let's continue let me show you something go to verse 10 verse 10 please sit down sit down thank you sit down it says but god has revealed them to us listen carefully it says by his spirit for the spirit searched all things yea the deep things of god that's why we stop right now paul is trying to explain to them that the holy spirit is the searcher of these things but now he's telling us that there is a limitation to this thing and here's the limitation go ahead he says okay if we've, we've read go to verse 12 verse 12 now we have received the spirit of the world but the spirit which is of god that we may know the things that are freely given to us 13 
which things we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the holy ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual 14 but the natural man now watch this this is the limitation to this experience once you are natural excuse me once you are natural it says but the natural man cannot receive these things why it says for they are the nature of that mystery is such that you must be a child to be able to receive it it's too childish for natural people to access it what is it in a dance and breakthrough what is it in an instruction and miracle alert these are manifestations of the hidden wisdom of god for they are foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned two more verses 15 but he that is spiritual judges all things yet he is judge of no man 16 for who had known the mind of the lord that he may instruct him the word instruct him there is not just to direct him who had known let's let's see what amplify says amplify puts it beautifully there give us amplify for who has known or understood the mind the counsel and the purposes of the lord so as to guide and instruct him and give him knowledge he said but we have the mind of christ and do hold the thoughts the feelings and the purposes of his heart it's a question he was asking who there he says who which ordinary man knows the mind of christ that he can even instruct him he said we do not qualify to know the mind of christ but by that spirit he says we have the mind of christ we have access something that men cannot have the ability to hold the thoughts the feelings the purposes of his heart men rise in this kingdom through the mysteries that they know men rise in this kingdom your life and my life is not just going to rise just because of our education as good as it is your life is not going to rise just by the informations there are things in your life the answer is not in any book on earth there are things there are solutions in your life that need to come that there is no other way of accessing it I show you a system that was created in the kingdom for our glorification someone met me one time a gentleman and he said he works in the bank and he said they gave them an assignment to bring a particular target me too when I had that amount I said Habba where is this guy a thief where is he going to go and raise that kind of money within one month or whatever let me tell you there are things in your life you stand and look at this mountain you do everything you know to do it will not move at that level you stop trying you allow the spirit of god remember i told you the mind of god is a compendium of infinite wisdom i dare to tell you there is an answer to every question it just depends on who tells you the answer there is an answer the bible is full of men women people who they, do you know do you know i believe with all my heart that it was part of this hidden wisdom that guided solomon to give a thousand bond offering yes he loved the lord but that kind of thing cannot be normal it's not just no it's not just a, will you carry a thousand bond no solomon there is a formula to get what you are looking for and it directed him and he did something that was foolish and god came he said you called me he didn't say you slaughtered animal you called me i'm here solomon what should i do for you and solomon says so this thing works ah look at the kinds of instructions that would come you guys are not going to win oh. why you are not circumcised ah what is the relationship between my being circumcised and holding a knife I am a warrior. The angel said, you can go and fight and die like a chicken. I've told you, the force that controls this result is your circumcision, not your sword. So if you want to win, circumcise everybody. Imagine the enemies watching men sit down for seven days. They can't walk, they can't move. He said, what's wrong with these people? Warriors. 
he said a, a ghost came and said we can't win your knife is sharp but you are not circumcised and he said you cannot win david went and carried five stones does that make sense to you carried five stones to kill a giant when he came and stood before goliath goliath said abba david me Re i know i will kill you but at least respect me am i a dog is he a dog that you are chasing he didn't know that that thing was a mystery there's nowhere where stone was carried to kill anybody except the one that the angels use hailstone to kill people a mystery was revealed to that young boy and he stood before goliath with his foolishness and arrogance and took his head down used his knife cut it and gave it to the birds that one experience brought him a wife he became tax-free are we together his family was exempted from all and he was given great wealth and honor say the deep things of god say it again the deep things of god let me tell you this you know why i'm teaching you this because there are many people who believe just because you prophesy and say in the name of jesus enter a new dimension everything will change about their lives most men of god will want you to believe that just because they prophesy everything will change there are answers that must come to you from heaven by yourself that you go to bed in the night and wake up with something that works for only you nobody who applies what was revealed to you that it will work for it was sent from heaven for you are you getting what i'm saying now i don't mean to be disrespectful but you can get up and see just because you don't see koinonia posters around you now go and then don't produce poster too for you is copy and you find out that no people say i don't know what you are doing you didn't inform me i said ah, but how are they doing it here they are not just doing it here it was received that's why it's working and you mean you were there when i told you god gave me the solution for the spreading of koinonia messages is there i came and told him i said god has given me the answer no selling videos no packaging anything put it online and the lord said he will give it wings that was the instruction the hidden wisdom for our glory look the blessing that the lord has brought today because of the ability to access the deep things of god brothers and sisters imagine other things that can happen to your life imagine how the god can end that mockery in your family overnight by one encounter with the wisdom of god do a b c and you stand up foolishly and do it and that's the end of it Do you believe what i'm telling you listen there are there are families that are suffering that even welfare can't help them no matter how you give to them the the level of trouble in that family is such that even one destiny helper cannot be able to help them because the need is recurrent it's not one time if they eat today there's no hope 11 people nobody is educated nobody went to school nobody can do any business they are all old brother you need something that is not in this earth this is a message of hope this is a message of hope young men listen to me if you don't access this you will never be established in your life i promise you fifty thousand per month will not establish you for life i give you a guarantee go and put your money in the bank and get five percent per annum and let me see how much in 10 years that's 50 percent and see how much that will help to build your life most successful people will never tell you everybody knows what he did in the secret you are just seeing the result a man gets up from nowhere and builds an estate they call it favor but they won't tell you the dynamics your favor is real i testify your favor is real your goodness is real. I 
I testify your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. I testify. Let me tell you this. In one of the days of the seven days prayer and fasting, I went to the Lord and I prayed a simple prayer. And I went to bed. Now, this, this, these are occurrences that happen to me all the time. I was I woke up in the night, and usually I go to bed. There was no light, and I woke up and found out someone had on my lamp my lamp physically now these are experiences that happen to me all the time opened my lamp and then i saw no not this book another one opened and a biro there i i know because i knew the moment i see this i know god wants to speak to me and i just said lord i'm ready to write and one two three four god just brought something to my life i said that's it god whatever it is you have done for me i rejoice forever I cried for over one hour seven days prayer and fasting I said my God my God brothers and sisters if your eyes is not open from heaven you will not see if your ears are not open from heaven you cannot hear a man can receive nothing except it is given to him you hear me tell you this a man can you hear me just prophesy and say in the name of Jesus it's not just what I'm speaking there is something I receive that is released through what I'm saying that creates the effect. When I say the power, it's not just because I'm anointed. Everybody operates by the secrets that are working in their life. Hallelujah. I share this thing with you because I want God to surprise you that you can see this a family that have no business buying a car they don't know nothing about finances they can access something and in two weeks all of them are on their knees saying god what is this where did this one come from listen the bible says it was meant for our glorification not our shame god does not lift men to bring shame to their lives we don't know his system is a mystery that Paul used. Think how many times they tried to kill Paul. Think how many times they tried to do whatever they would do with Paul. There is no such thing as hopelessness for any man. Once you are alive, you are only hopeless until the mystery leaves heaven and gets to you. That's why the prince of Persia fought the information, not the angel no don't get this to daniel if daniel receives this something will happen let me tell you that fight was not old testament fight that fight is a fight that happens every time something is leaving heaven and coming to you satan will he knows that one thing that will he sent a word to jacob and it lighted upon israel he sent a word to one lady and it changed the story of our generation that nobody in your family rises to a level and all of a sudden something enters you and you just turn and let me tell you i can know what has entered you by the results that follow these things eh? Take your eyes away from physical things. When God gave me this, physical things are remote controlled. Forget all these things you desire. It's not by chasing them. There is a central control button in life, I guarantee you, that brings you these things. One of it is this physical results. You have seen it happen in this ministry. You have seen it again and again. No man can do these things except God be with him. I'm saying this to you because the reality of the death of Christ is useless until your life brings glory to your family we keep mocking ourselves as Christians going everywhere Jesus died for me I am born again there is nothing that symbolizes glory not in our lives not in the life of anybody every unsaved person is still unsaved there is something you and God can do that will make the hardened sinner in your family within two weeks you will come one night and hear him listening to a message from your phone you say sorry sir this is a christian message you say you don't know what happened to me just leave me quietly 
you just know that God has come to your family something you did called for his help and he came hallelujah you hear that lady one point hand is touched changes to four points you try it and see if it will change it's not the hand it's the mystery it's not the hand so most people just think oh i will just confess just because the bible says to speak and in the name of jesus i decree and declare oh receive this and you find out nothing happens because you see it is what supports what you are saying not just the speech itself you may not know but your results begin to show first you would think it's a coincidence so you are not sure you are even afraid of the result but then you see that it becomes predictable predictable ah, ah. someone blessed sam today in the evening someone blessed him next tomorrow someone blessed him next tomorrow someone blessed him and you find out that no this this is not so your little church one member comes then the next thing five people come you see somebody who say i'm a keyboardist my friend is a drummer the lord just led us to your church say no but this can't be a coincidence i've been in ministry for 10 years no there is no coincidence everything is intentionally calculated even the disappearance of favor from your family was intentionally programmed it will take something from the spirit listen there are some of us here you graduated with a third class let's tell ourselves the truth if it is in this nigeria there is no human being who is going to employ you ordinarily i'm not making you scared there are some of us who what we have studied with all humility what we have studied that value is not celebrated nor needed in nigeria it's the truth there are some of us because of the tribes we come from there are wicked men that sit in positions in this country and make sure they frustrate you there are some of us even if you collect salary the 10 other people in your family who need you to eat will make that salary look like 10 naira you need to access these mysteries are we together you need to access these mysteries i will show you how Kai. oh god i'm grateful oh god i'm grateful oh god i'm grateful time will tell whether we are just talkatives or dispensers of the mysteries of the kingdom time will tell whether what you are receiving is a cunningly devised fable or is a programming that will make you surprised at your own life that somebody will look at you and say i know you are a villager you say you you insulted me for 30 years but i found something that in six months brought glory to my life that you will bring the gospel to your family you bring the not just the gospel you are able you may be the last born but this thing does not do with age whoever can get the holy spirit to bring you something from the mind of god you will change your life understand this you see all these manifestations that happen it's not just the anointing you see let me tell you something with when you catch a spiritual mystery there is an effect of that understanding on your environment you see that so every time people come under that circumference they even without directly receiving it they become benefactors of that experience it's true if you have a vision and you see an angel now anyone within that vicinity will benefit there are others that opening of that portal insight will come to them they were not praying just because you open the portal someone will benefit from it the prophet opened the eyes of another person he never said do you have faith do you believe because he could see someone's eyes open But the natural man the man who is scientific the man who laughs at anything that is of god 
the man who looks at all these things and says, look let me tell you i i went to harvard business school i'm a smart man i know everything about economy i i went to so 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 business school nothing is wrong with that i did this and that look i'm a smart gentleman i got this and that the bible says those kinds of people to them when you are talking like this they are some of these bloggers that write nonsense and extract messages like this and say look at the rubbish that they are teaching members and another natural man will concur and say yes so they teach people to dance in church they teach people to jump like fools ah religion the opium of the masses i don't know who taught that but what i am telling you is the mystery that men have accessed and produced wonders with you see if this ministry was not successful many of you think you are just talking just because of this is let me tell you something with results results strengthen your message are you hearing this now that's why for many of you no one has received your gospel results defy argument you can argue with a man but you can't argue with results a woman can be barren but when that woman is pregnant it's not water that is in her stomach it's a human being this earth you see is like a computer game whoever has the control button will make nonsense of satan in this earth there are things i have learned that have surprised me how satan hid this thing from the church and those who access these things are those who do witchcraft and scientology and all of this so the condition is they initiate you into those devilish things they say come they put incisions they do all kinds of occult groups and then they show you something that has always been there always been there you sell your soul to the devil for money you sell your soul but and, it, and you know we preachers insult people why sell your soul but hunger was it no hunger that took Israel to Egypt? If they were satisfied, they would not go. There was hunger and they all went. Hunger is still taking men to Egypt. We must be able to find a system to make Goshen fruitful so that they don't need to go to Egypt. Don't sit down and tell people, uh, why, why are you doing this? Why will you go and sleep with a man to get uh, a job? Can you, do you know the mystery that can give the sister the job? Come, let me pray for you except i'm a man of god you will get a job in two weeks five years she has not gotten the job and she just says don't mind this guy my family is dying there and this arrogant pastor wants to leave me in pain but happy are you brothers and sisters that you can look at a man and enter a family and they said look look at us sorry we're embarrassed there is nothing to eat our father is about leaving jesus christ and saying that by next week he's going to go to a herbalist in the village and you say daddy give me 24 hours something will happen in this house give me 24 hours and the man says you are a young boy we did all this jesus thing those days in boys brigade he said no problem i agree with you sir just allow me and within 24 hours something happens and the man calls you and says sorry i don't understand i'm, I'm a proud man i usually don't talk to small boys but sit down and you tell him jesus is still the way Jesus is still the life. truth. Jesus is still the life. How about that, my herbalist? Leave him. I brought you the reality. He said he gave it for our glory. Listen, hear me, church. If we trivialize the desperation of men to see the glory of God in their life, we will lose our members to occultists. Did you hear what I said? any pastor any prophet any apostle any man of god that trivializes the importance of the members experiencing the glory of god i guarantee you a day will come our young men our keyboardists will go to shrines because they must eat they must become they will become herbalists our ladies will go and fraternize with the gates of hell we will be there jumping on stage dispensing all kinds of things there are things that pertain to life and godliness not just godliness to life your child must go to school to life your child can be born again and not be educated and as a result your child will become a slave to every other person there are some of us everyone in your family works for someone they distribute them to go and be slaves 
you are 10 in your family nobody can stand alone you go and help this uncle wash his car you Abba. your goodness is real i testify your goodness is real your kindness is real i testify hallelujah look at someone like kenny look at this gentleman i i don't mean to make him feel bad his dad has gone to be with the lord his mother has gone to be with the lord everybody that can help him in life has gone he's on his own it's easy for a preacher who has food in his house to run your mouth and say you will make it and leave this gentleman by the time he suffers his sister is crying everybody is crying this guy will get into gambling he will get into occultism he will get into every kind of demonic thing that's what we are, we are losing our members in church because they are not seeing the reality the validity of what the word says we are losing our ladies to ungodly people we are losing our gentlemen our fathers are becoming herbalists covenanting generations in shrines because hunger is taking them to egypt i will never preach a god who is not alive it's a vow i made right from when god called me I will preach a God that can be proven here and now that he is not only the saver of souls he's the lifter of men he's the anointer of men he's the revealer of secrets I love you too much some of you as you are hearing me now you check your phone and you see missed calls from your loved ones we have not eaten for three days please if you're a man of God here let's take people seriously let's not just be acting games with people's destinies I bring you good news there is a way out there is a way out there is a way out we have orphans in this place we have widows in this place we have widowers in this place it's not their fault that they could not be educated do you blame a child was it his fault you see a woman of 60 years with her two children there is no physical hope of any breakthrough they are the ones who give us offerings and we collect as men of God. They are the ones who carry their last money and kneel down and give us. Our job is to collect and eat. Let me tell you, God will soon start punishing us men of God who are collecting people's offering and not giving them the truth that will lift them. After service, I can stand here and some of you will carry your last money and come and give me and I will collect and go back. Who will betide me if I don't teach you the truth? It's not fair we keep destroying people's destinies in the name of church look at how many young men sit down and they are asking man of god you are established me i'm not show me now so that both the sower and the reaper will rejoice but i keep telling you you just keep sowing in my life and sit down there while i am enjoying it as i'm talking to you now my food is ready some of you you love god but right where you are there is no food for you to eat how long will this continue we say it's Easter. Jesus died. He conquered Satan. Oh, dead. Where is your sting? We mock ourselves in church. And the only people who rejoice are the men of God. Your goodness is real. I testify. Your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. I testify. Listen. Gentlemen, let me teach you something. There are things you can learn. You will bring one song. One song, not ten songs. Nobody rises as a result of a full album. There is one song that comes from, there is the one you compose that your worship teammates will clap for you. And with it, they will invite you to two or three ministrations and you go back as usual. But there is one that comes from the throne. You will sit down and hear them playing it in Africa and you will mint money as if you are a charmer and god says that's not the issue i'm just proving to you that everything from above is above all there are some of you there's one idea that this mystery can bring you go and meet someone and say sir this is it and the person says because of this come i will read the bible look at modern history and see people's lives change when you hear some of the songs that heal song right look at the young guys they are not even neatly dressed you know that this one is the grace of god upon a vessel you ask them to compose songs by themselves and see the rubbish they will write
there are music artists in this nation we all know where they got their songs from it does not make sense and it has blessed them that's to tell you there is a force that is not human you listen to it you can't stop something in it draws you most of us write songs you carry a paper and a biro and sit down with the consciousness of the hunger that is in front of you and you just find a scripture where will i lift up my eyes two times i will say amen i will say amen the lord be praised two times it will never never sell not in this kingdom if if listen you are laughing i'm very serious with what i'm saying if it is god's result it must come from him there are pastors that love god doing everything they were taught in bible school but it's not working because the forces that keep men down the forces that keep men down can only be dislodged by an intelligence that is not earthly as for me joshua selman i have made my choice that this is how i'm going to live my life my life is too risky to be human this the earth is too wicked for me to live just as a human being i must live as a divine being because it is he that cometh from above that is above all are we together we have doctors here if you follow the normal course the thing they are doing in shika you will never really rise because one day you will see somebody who will look at you and say dr david i know you are qualified dr halima but because you are not from my village i sit on your destiny i am professor this and that and he says all right sir you go back and engage this mystery and come out and in his presence he will sign you as you are rising tomorrow he will come in the dedication of a foundation and you just say ah that is a is my own i wanted to tell you that i didn't stop rising after all of your mockery my god is still alive listen don't you dare laugh at any man that understands what i'm saying they may carry their 200 naira trouser and surprise you i bring you a message of hope brothers and sisters this storm that rage over our families will not rage forever there is a way out this is that there is a way out there is a way out the way out is to be able to access this hidden mystery now sit down let me explain to you the last thing and then we'll pray Hallelujah. pray i'm already seeing an electric cable sparking is what i'm seeing in the spirit hallelujah the overflow by the roadside there's someone receiving a healing anointing that overflow overflow two now there's someone receiving a healing anointing a healing anointing that's what i'm saying a healing anointing it will be by the spirit you may not be a preacher but you are receiving it and it will change your life oh what business can lift me let me try this let me try that and you keep crying you access this mystery and you are sitting down and here it comes and your life rises and changes I know a woman years ago she she got into coca-cola business and the only reason why she got into coca-cola business was because she was just sitting down according to what she told me and it was like a vision and she saw a like a what they call this thing this thing they buy container and she was bringing coca-cola from it immediately she knew that this was where my prosperity was you see why many of us keep trying things and wasting our time you are trying you need to receive god knows where your money is your money is not everywhere it is in the place directed geography matters when it comes to do prosperity isaac sowed in that land and the woman started it mysteriously help started coming for her and that was how this woman rose up do you know when i spoke with this woman from what i know about financial intelligence i i saw how unfair life can be for such a woman to be prospering 
I think the only thing that woman may know is just how to count money and all of that. But just because she was directed, the Lord is my shepherd and so I shall not want. Hallelujah. The character of this kind of prayer, listen carefully. Let me tell you the difference between praying in tongues, the prayer language for your spiritual building, your edification, and the prayer that is for reception. Number one, when you pray this kind of prayer, listen, the kind of prayer that receives is not a prayer that is done with aggression. Your mind has to be alert. Listen carefully. I'm giving you, there are certain kinds of prayer that the power of God comes upon you. You are praying in tongues. You must exert energy because of the gravity of what is happening in the spirit. These tongues, these tongues you see, is the kind of tongues that as you are communicating, God allows your mind to still be alert because something is happening. As you are activating certain things, ideas are coming. It's not just the kind of tongues that you go to the forest alone and you are shouting. This one, you are praying, you are receiving. Something is coming from heaven for you to receive. Your mind must be alert as you pray. Your mind must be alert as you pray. It's not every kind of prayer that your mind is alert. There are times you are just praying. Sometimes you are not even yourself. Five hours will pass, you don't know. Because there is a dimension. But when you are praying to activate this mystery, your mind must be alert to receive that which God is bringing. Number two, listen. Everything received must be documented or preserved immediately because of the nature of how spiritual things are listen carefully spiritual things are very volatile you can lose a spiritual information in five minutes and it will take the grace of god to receive sometimes it can be a vision that vision you can't understand it immediately so you find a way of preserving it my phone is full of voices of encounters sometimes i'm praying and the things i'm seeing i start recording it immediately because i know if this thing sleeps it may not come back again I, is somebody getting this now most of you when these kinds of things happen you say no problem let me finish my three hours prayer and it leaves never comes again that was a five years breakthrough that just disappeared in one strategy. You see why prophets were writers. When I'm praying, I pray with my books, my is on my hand, my phone, everything. Because there are times I will need to draw. There are times I will need to quickly write. There are times I will need to record. I get up in the morning. I, I found out that sometimes writing is too slow. How many of you have gotten up and you literally had seconds to preserve something? Seconds. If it escapes that second. Sometimes when God is merciful to you, he will draw you to start praying. You think you are just praying. You are repeating the same thing. And there the dream comes again. Are we together let me tell you something i have gotten information in pieces that the complete picture came within the span of three years spiritual things are very strange you can get one part you need to preserve it because you will need that part the other part will come december the next year and then the last piece comes january when you piece three of them together they equate a dimension of breakthrough that your life will never recover from so when you are praying these kinds of prayer, you can go to the place of prayer knowing that my purpose of prayer is to receive a strategy. I'm going there. Lord, I'm going to receive. And all of a sudden you are praying. You are praying. You are alert. You are alert. There are some times in the midst of your prayer, you will find out that the grace to pray supposedly lifts. You can't pray again. Don't just get up and say it's a demonic attack. Be silent. His voice is coming. Something is coming. Most of us don't understand these dynamics of prayer. There are times you are praying and you just feel like sitting down somewhere. Help them please. And you just sit down somewhere quietly. Like a zombie. You are even afraid because you don't want people to think that you came and you were joking. 
you see the mistake we make when we get to the place of prayer we just shut the door and make sure everybody around is hearing us to justify our spirituality we are cheating ourselves of dimensions there are times you can go to prayer and for two hours nobody has heard you you've not even started the prayer you are sitting down and for two hours you are like a librarian dictating mysteries that you yourself don't understand one day god will say remember what i told you go to your book page 75 check the last column that's the answer for what you are looking for there are times that i've gone to make reference to books things i wrote 2008 2009 i just remember i've seen this image somewhere and god says remember i go and look for the book i remember when koinonia was going to start that's when i remembered that god had revealed that thing to me 2005 I now when I was searching the book immediately I opened I saw everything revealed verbatim do you believe what I'm sharing with you we are going to pray many of us lose it listen to me every time you stand before a challenge and you want to pray don't just go and wail oh God you too you know how we are if you don't arise you can cry you can do everything you want to do but the moment you pray do you know many times you will see your prayer alternating you know that the last 30 minutes was warfare the next 30 minutes is not warfare that that prayer they all have their characteristics you can know that i was praying for two hours but the last 20 minutes of that prayer is this one is is a serious warfare what is happening you thought that after two hours it will go and all of a sudden a grace for prayer comes again and you can push through another two hours there are times you go to pray you cannot even reach 20 minutes if you are not careful you will think you are backsliding it is the context of the communication of the spirit religion is a dangerous thing it will destroy your prayer life there are times i've sat down to pray from morning till evening and i'm unable to say a word highest worship is just playing i want to get up and maybe the only thing i can say in that prayer session is thank you jesus thank you jesus i give you all the praise thank you jesus here it comes i'm writing thank you jesus okay teach these people this thank you jesus your people don't understand this thank you jesus the way to go about this is to do a b c d thank you jesus okay don't worry i will reveal to you the answer during leaders meeting thank you jesus they that are led by the spirit of god you see when you understand what i'm teaching you you will not only command signs and wonders your life will be a sign and a wonder we win in life by strategies if naomi never went to the farm of boaz she would never marry marriageable but no strategy if the walls of jericho the people carried their sword and tried to bring down that gate they would have slaughtered them like chickens just the arrows from the watchmen would kill them and destroy them it takes strategies to win you have dreams where is the strategy when I meet pastors, they tell me their message, but they don't tell me the strategy. God said, go and raise me a people. Where do you think these people are? And how are you going to fulfill that mandate? A friend called me and he said, um, I should advise him, is it right? Wonderful friend that I love. He said, is it right for him to continue raising offering in church? I said, well, I don't have a problem with it, but go and find out how god designed the finances of your ministry to run go and pray and receive a strategy do you know the challenge with the body of christ we copy everything without thinking about it we copy if i start rolling this um, um, what do you call it my trousers now here i do it for two weeks as foolish as it is of course i know it's because you love me and you believe in the word of the lord upon me you will be surprised how somebody will go for lecture with trouser road like that he will never ask and say sorry is it an instruction that is followable or is a unique dealing or you, you are, your leg is just paining you and you think you are doing this we copy everything and sometimes to our detriment are we blessed I want you to get results 
you have to be at alert you have to be focused you have to be discerning one of the ways that we engage these kinds of tongues is to write down all the issues of concern and pray while you look at it there is a relationship between your eyes and the realm of the spirit this eye is not just for looking you can write these things house rent god what is the way out are we together now ministry is not growing i'm trusting you for the healing anointing i've read everything i know what is the way out you are walking around and you just allow the holy spirit to pray through you all of a sudden you will just get an idea go down to zaria see apostle let him lay hands on you you see you think that that thing just came there is no other man of god you will meet no matter how anointed that will impart that healing anointing because the instruction is already tied to a vessel sometimes it may not even be to see a man of god there are graces when i wanted god led me to specific people and places i remember i've shared some of them with you we just do things at random no divine direction hallelujah i will never forget one day i was asking god a very serious question about ministry and all of a sudden literally as if as if a force came my hands were shaking and before you knew it i still don't know the name that i typed a youtube video enter and all of a sudden one old old gray baba just appears like this with one 25 minutes message and i listened to it that message changed my life I searched for other videos. The, the message did not even finish, but it contained my answer. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? You have to learn this if you must rise. There are two ways to rise in life. Hustle if you want to. Keep moving around and knocking. Or go to God and say, my God, show me the way. Show me the way. God can help men. Oh. Koinonia, hear me. My God can help men. This trial and error we are doing with our lives is too much. Sometimes the injury that will come from trying may not allow you to try another day again. So the key is to be circumspect. Access the deep things of God. If you're naming tonight's message then is is titled accessing the deep things of god i'm giving you a secret this is what i do with my life lord i thank you sometimes a scripture is coming sometimes the voice of god comes for you sometimes a mystery comes sometimes an instruction comes you see that god can give you all kinds of foolish instructions let me tell you do you know there was a day I do this every once in a while, but there was a day God instructed me. I was just lying down. I, I wasn't asleep and I was praying. And all of a sudden, I just sensed the anointing. And all of a sudden, the Spirit of God told me, stand up and lie down flat on the ground. Like, get up from your bed oh, and lie. Imagine if somebody opened my door. He said, this is it. I've, I've, I've always known that this guy, there is something occultic he's doing and you would think as i lie down i will feel one ghost i saw nothing i had nothing i lay down like that for about maybe 20 minutes honestly speaking i even started sleeping small and later the voice just came go to bed go and sleep the next meeting that we went i can't remember where i saw a dimension of the grace of god that i couldn't understand i said what happened and god told me while you were lying down your something was happening to you you don't have to feel it you believe it god is not a fool this how some of you can be there lord who is going to be my helper and god says come out in front of your house and just stand for 15 minutes the natural man lord what i'm, I'm educated and you stand there 10 minutes somebody passes and says, ah promise are you all right you say i'm fine of course you can't tell them it's god that's making you a fool like that and all of a sudden sometimes the 15 minutes will even finish and nothing will happen and you just feel disappointed and you go back say god this is what you did god is watching your aptness to obeying him 
one day you will be sleeping in the night and by 2 a.m god will say call pastor alpha just call and tell him what is the message ah god how do i call a married man by 2 a.m god will say do it immediately you call he say i was just about to call you here is the message for you the place is uyo not lagos that's all i saw in my dream look believers you need to be dynamic when you are just straightforward and religious there is no breakthrough the operations of the spirit is like the wind you can't tell where it's coming or where it's going so is one who is led of the spirit there are people here who came from lagos because they were praying lord what do i do with my life and god says stand up come to zaria they can't tell you exactly why they are here. That's why when you ask them those questions, it's difficult for them to answer. They don't want to look like they are stupid. Sometimes they themselves think they are stupid, but keep watching God. There is a mystery walking out. Then you will see the glory and the beauty. Why will God tell you to leave Lagos? This gentleman left Ghana and came. Help that lady. I said Lagos and truly, truly, she fell under the anointing. Praise God someone gets up and is enjoying oil money in portacourt and god says stand up and go and do two weeks in zamfara another person can be living where there is an oil well and be dying whereas his money is in sokoto as dry and harsh as the weather is your prosperity is where the voice of god is for you not greener pastures is not a location greener pastures is a realm where the voice of the spirit directs you there are people any other place you go you will not prosper you will prosper in zaria someone will come in zaria and be wondering what is in this place the only thing i saw was just a few shops here but a direction for you every lifting in this ministry and every greatness god has brought happen right here because we could access these mysteries are you ready to pray we are going to pray sit down you are not going to stand up sit down listen you are just going to play these instruments for me just lightly and then I just want you to pray don't shout and mm -mm, just take out time you just pray in the spirit right take out time and pray in the spirit and you will be surprised to be sensitive to what God will be doing for some as you are praying what you'll be receiving is impartation some as you are praying you will not even know what is happening to you not every information must be communicated in words some truths are imparted just do what I'm telling you to do don't worry about those shouting pray in the spirit thank you Jesus Everywhere, inside, outside, you just pray. show us the secrets of our life oh god show us the way out let it come from heaven <laughs> you are receiving things just because your mind is not understanding it you watch and see what happens to you a few days from now what you have received will start being revealed to you and you will see that this is what happened in koinonia oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. 
Lord, what is the way out for my business? What is the way out for my family? Lord, what is the secret to addressing this barrenness? Lord, what level of unction do I need for this ministry? Why is it not growing? Lord, why is my family stagnated? Why are the works of my hands challenged? Send me help from Zion, O God. Just pray, Koinonia. We are soaking in the glory. Everyone pray in the spirit. Lord, why is my CGPA refusing to rise? What must I do? I have studied. I have done my best. Go ahead. Pray. Lord, what do I need to do? Where is my finances? Oh God, where is it? Where is the key to the next level? What is the formula for my establishment? Lord, how will you bail my family out? Do I just meet anybody? Should I meet a particular helper? If yes, what is the name? Who is the helper? Is he in Zaria? Is she in Zaria? Do I need to go out of Zaria? Lord, what is the thing? Is my ministry in Zaria? Is it in Nigeria? Where is it? Where is my breakthrough? Pray! Show me the secrets of my destiny. Go ahead. We are not wasting our time. I, I guarantee you. The Bible says the natural man. The natural man. Some of you in the silence, like the dew of Hammon, ideas begin to come. That poultry is my will for you. Don't stop it. That public speaking, you are about to give up, but it is where your finances is. Don't stop. It looks like your church is not growing, but you are called. You just need an upgrade of the anointing. Answers coming from heaven. Spirit of the Lord, we ask you, search for us the deep things. Search the mind of God concerning our destinies, concerning our families, concerning our ministries, concerning our homes. Lord, where will this budget money come from? There is no human way it is going to come. But I know that thou art the fountain of wisdom. It is in your light that we see light. Show me. Show me. Open my eyes. I am tired of doing what everybody is doing. I'm tired of failing like everyone. I'm tired of saying yes to just anybody. Open my eyes. Show me. Pray. Just three or four more minutes. Lord, where is the anointing? Where is the place you want me to be meeting with you for prayer? Is it my room or do I need to go out of my house every night? What is the timing? What is my time of receiving revelation from you? Is there a unique time you want to give me? From 12 to 2 every day. Is it a time you are giving me? It may not be so for everybody. But what time have you allocated for my visitation? Do I need to fast once every day? Do I need to go on a drive fast? What do I need to do? Do I need to dance for 7 days? Show me oh God. There has to be a way out. Why are my heavens closed? Why do I fast and pray and yet nothing happens? Why are the nine graduates in my family jobless? Show me. Then the secret was revealed unto Daniel. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Two more minutes, go ahead and pray. Open my mind, open my mind, open my mind. There is a way out. 
there is a way to the wealthy place there is a way to the anointing there is a way to influence there is a way to access the mysteries of the kingdom there is a path which no foul knoweth the wealth of the lion has not trodden there show me oh god these mystery paths in the spirit these virgin dimensions in the spirit that mortal men cannot dare tread open my eyes oh god like a two-edged sword and let me see the path a mark for my destiny Hello, Kim Madonna. 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 Just be silent, everyone. Just be silent. Just be as silent as you can. Wherever you are, just be silent. The Lord is putting something in your spirit. Be still and know. Be still and receive. Be still and hear. Be still and enter. Be still and you will know. Just be silent for two or three minutes. God is doing something in your life. Answers coming as words, as impartations. Be still. Some of you, God will be saying, don't waste your time in that direction. That's not the path for your life. Don't waste your time. Be still. Some of you, God will be telling you the change will not come in one day. Just be patient. I will visit your family, but it will take time. Please be patient. Just be patient with me a few minutes and we're done. Be patient. Answers are coming. Think on your business while you are standing. Think on your family while you are standing. Think on your ministry while you are standing. Answers are coming from the throne. Coming from the throne. God is telling you, I will raise help for you. It will not be with your resources that you will make this happen. The helpers are coming. The helpers are coming. The helpers are coming. This sickness is not unto death. This sickness is not unto death. I will give thee health and cure. It is true that the healing ministry is my will for you. It is true that the healing ministry is my will for you. It is true that the healing ministry is my will. It is true that the healing for you, the ministry, the healing ministry, you will walk in it. It is true that the healing ministry is. Just be patient. I see sparks of light. It's a picture of illumination. You are receiving something in your spirit. God is giving some of us clarity. 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 In the 
name of Jesus Christ I stretch my hands and I pray for you by the message of God that the same way God sends me insight by the angel of his presence I pray for you whatever alignment your spirit must take to not only hear his voice but receive of the impulses from the throne I make this happen for you now in the name of Jesus I make this happen for you now whatever position your ears must take in the spirit your eyes must take in the spirit to clear up the blurry visions to make sure that the speakings are clear I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the grace the spirit of grace make this happen for you even in this Islam supernatural ideas innovative ideas supernatural strategies the strategies that force things to work some of you this week will not be over until you begin to see the fruits of superior wisdom this week will not be over until you see things that will marvel you happening by the spirit of god manifesting by the finger of god you will apply the things that you are receiving and you will watch it work it was not supposed to work but because it came by his voice you will see it rise i say to you you will see it rise i speak to you that you will see it rise before the miracle service on friday some of you will only come for thanksgiving because before then that which you have received from heaven will walk like fire will walk like fire listen there are some of you the next meeting you will go for as a man of god you will be surprised to see the dimension of the operation of the gifts of the spirit you will go for your meetings and god will give you epochal revelations you will command the realm of the spirit at your beck and call in dimensions that you will be afraid of and that one experience will open the doors of finances open the doors of ministry increase membership bring increase for you listen there is a reign of wealth and prosperity that is coming upon this ministry you hear me as i speak i don't just talk about money just because no 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 no. there is a reign r-a-i-n of a dimension i have seen this thing many times in my visions a dimension all these miracle alerts are just messages do you know why because god wants to establish men fast to give us room to serve him there is a dimension i want you to write it write it down that there is a dimension brothers and sisters you will see things happen to men you now see that will surprise you i know this by the spirit one of the impartations that we are coming to receive on friday is this grace for financial exploits please believe it i'm not apologetic about it because we need it your heavenly father knows there are families that must come to just cry and say god if you leave us to ourselves we may not reach the end of this year i'm rounding up a precious woman one wonderful kaduna family that i love so much they left to church this morning while service was going on in this area thieves came and buckled their house because of the financial squalor you can imagine people now live and go for work they went to church they were praying whereas robbers buckled their house packed everything that can be carried pits whatever i mean carried them um, i don't know they didn't give me the details of what they carried they entered came and saw their house scattered because of the wickedness of satan let me tell you this 
a spiritual demarcation has been made over this ministry and everyone connected from this grace you are totally exempted from this financial wickedness it's no longer poverty it's warfare there is a spirit behind it to make sure believers are rubbish to become nonsense to make sure pastors become beggars to make sure nothing is discussed in church again no salvation message only money message to make sure that people never rise that the only thing that happens in church is money and raising seeds the spirit of poverty please i want you to come on friday with your heart open while praying for the sick but some of this let's trust god to make this thing happen in our lives but you mark my word koinonia what is about to happen to men and women god has seen your heart you will see the sudden liftings of men by divine strategies i saw it in that vision people helping themselves and it's like a chain reaction within a short period of time rising in a way that is enviable he made this for our glory father we give you praise tonight we respect your authority in this house we respect what you are doing we take you seriously and we believe you thank you oh god for showing us tonight a system for accessing the deep things of god i pray oh god that you will grant us grace that as we pray this prayer we receive deep things from the kingdom and that grace be supplied to walk in the instructions thereof lord i am asking you to lift everyone lift everyone connected to this vision first lift us spiritually oh god let no one be weak in this place let no one be small in this place oh god let your sons and daughters be men and women of fire and insight and then i pray oh god that the things that pertain unto life you will give us the thing the issues of life may they be solved once and for all that we may have the time to serve you and declare your praises to the nations we thank you we receive it by faith and we declare that this is our experience in the name of jesus christ apostle i want to give my life to jesus christ keep standing everybody i love him with all my heart but seeing what he has done tonight it is a call for me to run to him you're here inside outside overflow one two three by the roadside online you are saying man of god i want to run to jesus i have seen that this is the way i want my life to be or you are here you are saying apostle i've handed my life to jesus but i want to rededicate my life i want to take him seriously because he is my life wherever you are please make sure you run here overflow outside overflow one and two you can come in join those inside overflow three for time's sake just walk to your projector stand please do this quickly wherever you are god bless you god bless you thank you for your courage my brother thank you my sister god bless you i see you coming make sure you don't sit back i love you jesus keep coming quickly i worship and adore you just want to tell you that i love you more than anything are you coming please make your way very quickly i love you jesus appreciate them as they come i worship and adore you just want to tell you that i love you more than anything one more time i believe somebody still needs to come and join them i love you jesus i worship and adore you just want to tell you that i love you more than anything hallelujah those in front and those at overflow three and those online all of you please say this after me Come join them darling quickly say lord jesus say it from the depth of your heart say lord jesus i believe in you 
that you are the son of God I believe you love me I believe you gave your heart your life to set me free tonight I receive of your life I receive righteousness I receive all that you have done for me and I declare that I am a child of God the life of God is in my spirit I declare that you are my Lord now and forever I declare that the spirit of the living God comes into my life tonight and he's with me forever thank you Jesus let me pray for you father thank you for these precious people they have come in honor of the call that you have made over their lives and destinies Lord preserve them validate this declaration that they have made by faith by granting them access to the spirit of truth the one who can search the mind of the father I pray that you make their lives beautiful produce the garden of Eden out of every wilderness in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen now thank you so much gentlemen I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you please go ahead follow him appreciate them as they do so same thing for those at overflow three hallelujah praise the lord thank you so much for your patience um just give me a few minutes three five minutes and we're done this is your first time worshiping with us aside from those going out your first time here at koinonia um it's a special service we're doing it on sunday usually our services are fridays but um aside from overflow three if you are here, overflow one, two, and inside, you're most welcome. Please make your way to the front. It's my joy and honor to welcome you very personally. Please appreciate all those worshiping with us for the first time. God bless you. God bless you. Come boldly. Come boldly. Make your way. Please clear the way for them outside those who are coming. Some of you have come from very, very far. Some of you have come from within town. You are most welcome. All those following us online in whatever nation of the world whatever time zone it is there we love you we bless the lord for your life thank you so much for connecting with us the same grace at work here will work in your life let's honor them one more time everyone bless you bless you dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye